why hell could be open. Okay, we should be live audio. No, no camera at this time, but uh, we'll go yeah, camera yeah, live here soon. Yeah, I had it on the wrong screen. Okay, should we make sure that audio is working? Yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if you guys want to talk, go ahead and talk. Uh, I just want to make sure I caught that transition. Yeah. If you guys can hear us, please let us know. We're still waiting for Skylar's Zoom to uh, finish updating. Uh, no. Of course it's going to be updating. Everything. That's the I am loud, and the right? characters so are the, quiet. I think that's accurate. <laughs> How is this? Am I not so loud now? So, I, so Bonner, you're going to have to help me. So, I'm loud to them. And you guys are all quiet. No, they're just saying they can hear you loud and clear, like you're good. Oh no, it's a mystical unicorn painting said, Oh wow, what Rory is loud playing. Oh. Yes. So that's gonna be your audio input on slobs. Yeah, you guys are the desktop oh, I had these backwards, so this one's me, this one's you. That one's Yeah, yeah. otherwise the all around gain's gonna be channel one on your mixer. So okay, how is this? For, uh, we'll go a quick run through uh, part of my audio here, and that is better. Thank you, Amanda. How is everyone else? If everyone else wants to talk real quick. No. And I'm echoing. <laughs> yeah, you were echoing, by the way, when I had to turn it on to listen. Weird. How do I fix the monitor? Hmm? How do I fix the echo? Oh, you have to turn off the monitor on slobs. So if you're in slobs, right yeah. hand corner where it has. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Great. Let me open up my slobs now. Dang, nab it. <sighs> Which dice will it be? Uh, uh Streamlabs. Oh, come on, figures. There's no players. winner tonight. Okay. okay, secondary yeah. dice sets. I was just about to say, I'm going to test mine out. The, yep. uh, it's not looking great so far. Three, four, and six on mine, so now I gotta, um, I gotta uh -oh. get my other dice. We got a nine, we got a six, we got an eleven. Why you do this to me today? Don't do this right. to me. So, Rory, once you have slobs open, click okay. on the, on the right-hand side, there's an option that says... Where it has mixer, there's a gear just to the right of it. Yep. And then all of the settings, you can t turn the uh, audio monitor uh, if you expand them. Like, for instance, where it has desktop audio, yep. you can change audio monitoring to just monitor off, and I would just do that for everything. I will find another way to make what we want to work. I have ideas. I will come with different cables. I'm and... so happy you guys don't know anything about my character. This is going to be so fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't so, worry, half the time I don't know anything about my character. <laughs> so how is this, everyone? <laughs> no, that's so accurate. Is the uh, quick audio check? Uh, have, how does uh, the sound? Is it yeah, echo gone it's now? Okay, I don't, have, I don't have a use for that many D6s yet, so that can all go away. And... Let the chaos ensue. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna run chaos upstairs soup? quick. If you guys can wait, do now we can't hear Ryder or Rory at all. What do you say? Um, which means change. Where do you see that? In your Zoom, the microphone option. Change it to be your USB codec. Oh, you guys can't hear me. Here you go. Yep, now I can Maybe hear you. Okay. We can still hear Rory. Yep, the players couldn't hear. But right, we'll go ahead and go live here in just a couple minutes. Skylar must be having trouble getting his stuff set up. Probably why you sent me a message. I'll be right back. If you guys would like to engage with the viewers, we'll start here in just a couple minutes. Sweet. Bring. 
Doppler effect. So, uh, the Seahaw. I don't know what to think about these dice today. I rolled a one and then I rolled a twenty. It's a, it's a toss up. So they're doing the... exactly what dice do. Yeah. Yes. Was it on the same dice or two different dice? I just rolled a d20 twice. I just got two yep. 18s in a row, so we're going to stick with these. Oh, let's see here. That's, which set of dice are going to hate? Um, five, a three. Now, do you all go oh, by what there. rolls best, or do you go by what are prettiest? Because I pick the prettiest set, and then if they don't roll well, then I'll switch to a different set. Uh, the answer is banana, because bicy bicycles have no sleeves. I, all right, that's me anytime I try to do math, period. So I, I kind of understand that. Yeah, it looks like my red set's going to be the nice I go, one. I go by whatever design I think is good enough to like for the evening. Uh, How do we I, feel about custom character dice? Oh, do, do it up as long as they're balanced. I don't see a oh. point to it. Um, I do know if you're... Uh, if you're going to be joining us full time, I will need information from you so I can update it on the website. Oh, okay. I believe that is the plan. Well, I Good. thought that was the plan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But just so you know, if you want to take a look at what we currently have, if you go to blueboxrpg.com, there's a link for Fall of Red Dawn, and you can see all of our kind of what we have going on. Um, but if you want to send me like a good headshot that you want and. Um, did you make your like a, a mini in Hero Forge? You can send me a screenshot of that, and I can work my magic on it. So, um, and then I know Ryder and Tom know. Anytime you guys want to change your picture, your like your headshot on the <laughs> website, just send me a message. I just found an, what what I thought looked decent. <laughs> so, oh, Rory sent told me to send mine in, so that's why I did. Yep. Yeah, he I, just said if I had one I wanted to use, and I said just grab one off Facebook, and he grabbed one of the worst ones. <laughs> well, you, you, hey, you can change it at any given time. Uh, that requires effort. So for anyone, I know man did just put it, put the, uh, put it, wow, put, put it. the website in chat. Um, at the end of the month, there's going to be a giveaway for a box set for the Dark Sun Dra Dragon's Crown. There's a sign-up on the top of our website. So, uh, right now, it looks like there's 64 entries to this giveaway. And you have to be on stream on May 30th to be eligible to win. Um, i got to remember who we're partnering with on that one. I'm sure Amanda will tell me and correct it correct any insanity that I have. I've had a busy week changing things up. Do, 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 do. Uh. I'm reading everybody's character bios and I'm just giggling at this gnome doesn't trust many people so his downfall is straight up other people. <laughs> <laughs> right, you'll figure yeah. out who that is soon. Yeah, real soon. Well, considering the player pictures are right next to. Them, oh yeah, that's right. Easy. Uh huh. Yeah. So, yeah. Good stuff. I, good humor. This is going. To I can't help it with my with so my background. Bad. I picked some flaws out of the list, and <laughs> that was just <laughs> that happens to be one of them. So. I just hate people. Ooh, ooh! I just kind of I just kind of typo in the. Uh... One of the bios, like the. It, I say, it happens. I say, if you see a typo, highlight it, send me what the corrected, what the correction should be. We had like three or four people proofreading it, and we're human. That's all it is—is is just us being human. Was one of them Rory? Because he spelt stoked, stocked. So <laughs> we can see your. No, it was just it was just at the very end of my own. Uh, it says, fight for, win the world, and in the world, I think that's what it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, send me But whatever. that's awesome. Turn that into your catchphrase. <laughs> Every time win you kill something now, fight for, win the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, fight for, win the world. Oh. Yeah, just own own the own the mistake. Yep. Someone else. 
<laughs> it may have it may have been me. It could have been John. It could have been Manda. It could have been Rory. Who all knows? Um, the other the other changes with the new book three of Greyhawk Awakening. I had to update all of their player images and add the new players. So yeah. Where you going? I'm going? I don't know where you're nope, going. Nope, I wasn't going anywhere, so... You just kind of, like, stopped and then said, yeah, like, we're supposed to know. We have changes. Let's take... I don't like change. Well, tough. That's scary oh. for me being the new player here. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> uh. Just, if, uh... Just, just try not to get in between Tom and I when our characters start arguing. Oh gosh. Oh, don't you worry. I can't wait for you all to meet her. I am. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I, I feel like you have a, a unique personality really created here with the way you're excited for this. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> um. Yeah. What's my middle site? It's been a while since I pulled my middle dice out of their corner. Ooh, and ni 19 on my d20. Metal dice are for weirdos. <gasps> and do they mean? don't they I've don't so get much weirder than me. I hate I hate the feel of metal dice. I've got Okay, wait. I have I want one made ones. out of human bone though. I got gold human Is that what you're specifically? Well, not human. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stipulated <laughs> human. I don't know what they made him out of, but it's made uh, out of yeah, the so animal bone would be my guess. Is that uh, way Grandpa can still uh, still join you for family fun night? Yeah, really. <laughs> no, that's that's the locket I have. I was about to say we need to call the cops here. Yeah, so, loves like, I didn't make them. I bought them. <laughs> I swear. Okay, well we need to call the cops for you. Bought them. Yeah, are you technically an accomplice if you buy human bone dice? Then it's it's, it's the Wayfair set of human bone dice. <laughs> Oh, I, okay. I can't even handle that. Okay, here we go. Oh. I'm here now. Sorry about that, everyone. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Uh, Skyler is joining. I just had to get him to join via the browser so that uh, we didn't have to do the update with the app. So, uh, we will go ahead and hop in. Did you guys happen to see if you're... Uh, what is it called? Everyone Video Ninja? Just fine. It, what? Sounds right. like Is it. Everyone, the audience, the viewers, able to hear. Oh, that? yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. It's working. Sweet. I just did a quick check. Okay, sweet. So, uh, I will go ahead and fix cams and all that stuff, but let's go ahead and kick it off. Um, little frazzle here, so uh, we'll start it out with. Uh, player introductions. Uh, Taylor, we'll go ahead and save you for the moment until a later time. Let's go ahead and switch our screens here. Uh, so I'll we'll work on these cams real quick. The guy who works on his background. And uh, we'll do player introductions if each of you want to just kind of take a turn doing that. And uh, then we'll go with what happened last time and then move into the game. Hey. Anyone of you want to go first? You no, know what? I go first. I go. I go first. Literally every time, so I will go first again. <laughs> you may as well get an order and keep it, so that then we just do it every time. Have Tom go last. Yep, other time. My uh, other personality. All right, I can. Uh, I will jump in. I'll make it brief. Uh, I'm Rihu, level three human monk. Uh, you know, Rihu is just uh, living his best life, adventuring with this group of misfits, and you know, really has kind of taken on the role of a minor babysitter within the group between uh, Tom and Tom here, so uh, I will no. pass the baton to let them introduce their characters. I am Tom, I am playing Zep, or, you know, as his friends call him, but, you know, full name Zephelius Tiberius Inez. And uh, he is a little gnome wizard, and he's the most trustworthy, untrusting person in this bunch. And that 
Tyler, you, uh, as you're looking for a different photo, if you uh, introduce your character. Oh, we can't hear you, Skyler. Skyler, there's a bridge behind you. So, <laughs> yep, still can't hear him. Well, while he, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That, I'll just go and say I am. Uh, Welcome to uh, oh. Just subscribed. Welcome. As you're here, oh, yeah. go ahead, Bonner. Yay! Uh, so I am Tom, last name Bonner, just to keep us apart. I am playing a level 3 dwarf paladin that is, I would say, slowly living up to my family name, trying to get closer to my deity, Epsu, who's pretty much the dragon god of all justice. And um, four foot nine, kind of a stout dwarf. Physically looks boring, but still trying to be very, I would say, prideful of my family heritage and doing what my family wants me to do. Yeah. Perfect. This guy, do we have your audio yet? Doesn't look like it. It should be the microphone at the bottom. There's a microphone and a camera down there that can change your audio input, output. Uh, and if you can't get it back, you can just move it back. Or it might be your microphone too. But uh, while he figures that out, uh, we will go ahead and get started. Thank you everyone for joining us. I really appreciate it. And uh, we will go ahead and get started. Last we left off, actually, Bonner, our uh, Bantalord, what happened last time? Ah, so last time we uh, finished the session out strong by killing the last of the bandits that kind of ambushed us at a fallen log. Um, through our looting, we found a little bit of gold, a couple of some weapons. Uh, we were met by a half dru or halfling druid by the name of Yora, who was lo looking for poachers. While she was kind of frantic going on regarding them, we encountered an orc that was just causing all sorts of chaos. And I would say through a fun round of combat, we saw... Um, my character takes some good hits. We saw a skunk sick in the orc with the uh, the spray, and through a great round of teamwork, we saw victory as we surrounded the orc and were pretty much able to flank him. Um, after several more days of travel, we arrived at Woods Edge, which had a population of about 10,000 people, and we decided to look for the inn right away in the tavern as we came in at night. Uh, the tavern is owned by a dwarf named Bram, and it's called Eagle's Watch. Mm -hmm. While in the tavern, we saw a couple of people that kind of stood out from the group. An older man with ivory white hair and a woman with many various markings and tattoos. Uh, had some drinks, had some laughs. The following morning, we split. the group split up. Half of us went looking for a blacksmith uh, named Gorin, who's a goliath, and to replenish some of our weapons and our armor. And the other half went looking for the taxidermist Gorgana to hopefully learn about the mysterious creature that we encountered in the mines. Uh, Gorgana turned out to be the woman with all the markings and the tattoos that stood out to us. Um, and again, if, if I'm incorrect, correct me please. Uh, Zeb showed an image of the creature to, to Gorgana, who happened to have a um, the corpse. You're not talking about the markings with the red hair, right? That's yes. Different. So oh, different okay. People. Gorgana was the half orc, and then Raja uh, had noticed a, uh, a female. You, you know, in various different people within the tavern, one of them, like you mentioned, the older uh, individual, uh, the male, and there's a female with red hair and all the tattoos. Oh, thank you for the correction. I appreciate that. So, and then Gorgana just happened to have a corpse of one of the creatures that we'd seen, and she kind of finished the session out by threatening Zep, saying, if you ever told anyone that I have this, I will end you. Um, and then we came up to the reminder that Rihu and Raja both have two of these unhatched creature eggs, and Zep and myself each have one of the eggs. So we have six eggs in total between the four of us. So, yeah. Yeah, there's your audio working. Is it? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Becca. Uh, for all those who don't know, Becca 
the invisible helper in the background you can catch her on Tuesdays at on GHA. Plug plug. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, so we left off. Um, so go ahead, Tyler. Do I need to roll for my health? Or did we not take that rest? Did you level We up? haven't slept yet. Yeah. Yeah, I still have to wait for the next okay. rest, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, we would have rested last night, so if he leveled, but, is it the same? but he would have got it. He would have got it at the end of that session. Uh, While we were awake in the morning. No. And now it's still about midday, correct? You did all that stuff in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which I mean, you guys, your days ex last as long as you you want, to, right? So if you want to spend five days in the city, yeah, I mean, you very well can, and it could be as short or long as you make them. I think we should spend three sessions on one day just so Skylar can't level up. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's horrible. I felt that pain before. Um, <laughs> so, so you find yourself in uh, Wood's Edge, right? And you've gone around to some of these various different locations. And as you've experienced, Wood's Edge uh, is a quite large place. Uh, you find yourself uh, currently, I believe you are all about to meet up at the alchemist the alchemist place correct yes I think we, were we already there or are we going there going the party was split mm -hmm. and i believe both groups were heading towards the alchemist correct because mm -hmm. yes. we wanted to look at those eggs mm -hmm. we did our shopping already well some of us some of us So then, uh, while you're there, you know, it's a kind of an average day. Uh, there are a lot of people out, even in this hour of the morning. A lot of shops are going, uh, whether they be uh, buildings that are supplying this or just like the market shop areas. Uh, different businesses are uh, awake and moving. Uh, as the two groups come back together and over to the appropriate spot for the alchemist. Uh, you guys bump into each other here in this square. Looks more of a triangle than me. See, remember what I said about the jokes? Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm here for it. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so I was with, what's her face? Yeah, you're with Gorgana and Leora. So I'm going to yep. do Throwback Thursday here, and I'm going to cast Mage Hand and tap Mantle Lord on the shoulder. I'm, I, I look around, I'm like, again with this craziness. I thought mm. we were past this. I thought we were past this. Why? So I'm going to start looking around to see where Zep is, because I know that's the type of mischief you'd be causing. I'm, just, okay, I'm walking okay, up to you, just trying out. to get your attention. Oh, okay. Just walking up, just walking across, trying to get your attention. So what what did you find at the tax service this morning? Oh, so so much information. Okay. She had another one of those creatures. So they're here. They don't know how far this is spread now. That's fantastic. I mean, this wait, is wait, 10 days. She had a creature at the place that was outside of ours? Yeah, she had killed it. Oh. So, I mean, this this is this is 10 days journey from where we were. Yeah. And for that's... a little creature like this, that's a long journey. I know because my legs are short. Yeah, that that makes us wonder then. I wonder how long ago some of these creatures did end up hatching. Um, I, I know what Leora was saying, something about that the sickness and the rats. I wonder if these are, are spreading it. Just because I remember when we killed the first one, we had that horrible, horrible stench coming out of it with that black, oozy blood. Yep. 
I feel like in a lot of ways these rats and these beasts are connected somehow whether by arcane means or just whatever unnatural thing is going on well I think from what we saw in the mines that there's obviously some sort of magic happening with all of this any uh, did you learn anything else from the uh the taxidermist, other than this very disturbing news that she had part of a corpse of a creature? Um, well, yeah. We need to talk to this alchemist. That was her best guess for who might be able to help with the, the letters we found and maybe determining more about these eggs or the creatures themselves. Well, I'm going to follow your lead, because you know way more about that realm than I do. Yeah, it's, um... Go to the alchemist, then. Yeah. So you all are going to the alchemist? To yep. The, uh, I believe we are all in agreement. Yeah. What? To the alchemist! I ho, I ho. Okay, so uh, it's, you know, it's we not go. far uh, where you're at right now. It's just a little ways... Uh, across this main square, you look around and, and it's fairly easy to see uh, her shop. Um, and right on the outside, you see two giant A's on the sign. Uh, and it says, uh, uh, Athea's Alchemy. Uh, going in this area, there's quite a few more people uh, at this time. And uh, amongst them, uh, go ahead, everyone roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, dirty twenty. Thirteen. Well. Ten. Okay. Um. Not really hard to see. Zep, you notice it, especially because at your height, uh, you're able to see kind of around the legs of the majority of the people as this place starts to fill in more and more. Uh, Vantalord, you kind of notice it, but you, you weren't fully paying attention. Um, Rihu and, and uh, Raja, you don't see this at all. Uh, but Zep, you clearly see an individual that flashes by, runs by very quickly, uh, and you don't you don't see very much because all you're really doing is catching legs. Uh, but these pair of shoes that sparkle quite a bit, and uh, just some different colors in the clothes as that individual runs by. Whether you make anything of that or not. Uh, it stands out to you because it, the, the attire is just different. Ah, uh, excuse me, Miss it, Person. There's a good chunk of people in front. Of you. Uh, person with all the colors. I start running towards the person with all the colors just because. Why are you running? Because I want to catch up. I don't care. See, see, see somebody with a lot of colorful clothes on him if you want to catch him. Yep. Absolutely. It stood out. It's sparkly. As you do. Uh, so, you go ahead, so you go ahead and you start running and running. Um, roll an athletics check. Uh, Whoever is running. Okay. Nope. You having to dodge through people because, as I mentioned, you're having to look between the legs, anyways, to see uh, this uh, individual that looks drastically different. Um, you want athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. We're not leaping over them. Well, we don't have an athletics, uh, so that'd be dexterity then, right? Sure, yeah, I get these. Sorry, guys. You're all good. Uh, skills. <clears throat> yeah, I guess acrobatics. Let's go. I like the dexterity better. I rolled a six. Okay. 
Uh, especially with your size, Vandalord. Uh, you get past a couple people, but it's just, you're not as nimble and small enough to get past everyone. Especially with uh, your weapon and your sword or your shield. Uh, you very quickly, not that anyone's trying to stop you, but you just can't penetrate the crowd very easily. Uh, and before you know it, that, that individual is gone. And well, still in front of you is the alchemist. Okay. Can I go into the alchemist's shop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna walk into because I didn't see this bright flashy thing, so my interest is not I'm, there. I'm gonna continue looking for the bright flash. Okay, the colorful clothes. Yep. Hey, Vantalord, you stay outside as you start to scope around the area. Uh, what about you, Zeb? I'm going in. Okay. So as the three of you enter in to the alchemist shop, you see this uh, this expanse of a room. It's, it's quite large on the inside, not overly cluttered, uh, but you do see that there are some some tables as well as some shelving and a main counter on the far side, uh, kind of like a an antique type store, right? A little bit less clutter, but kind of like that. As you walk in, you just the ceiling is tall, and the place is just pristine. It's so clean. Um, can I just look around the uh, shelves for what items and all the equipment that, or like goods that they have? Yep. Yep. So what you notice just as a quick look around, uh, there seems to be uh, various. A little bit higher than, well, probably for you, Raja, probably about shoulder or head level, so they're not very low. But you do see some some different jars uh, with various different colored fluids in them. And then uh, there is another area with some little knickknack type items. Don't it seem a little bit out of place, uh, but as far as what's out here for you, that's what, that's what you see. Okay. How big is the shop? Just like for context. Yeah. Um, good. You know, it's a good size for the shops that are around. Uh, it's probably a good twenty by thirty feet. Do we see anyone in there? Not not right Perhaps. away. Uh, after a couple yeah. moments go by, you do see a gnome as she yeah. walks out. <clears throat> um, and as you do, she has a very different uh, look to herself. For you, Zep, uh, this is very normal for you. Uh, seeing a gnome who would be very mundane dressing would be ab. When she walks out, she actually has uh, a very vibrant colored clothes on. She has a head here that I'll go ahead and bring up to all, for all of you. Uh, she has a hat with some goggles on. Uh, you can see that she's tinkering with something in her hands and she's all uh, garbed up in like an apron, like leather apron and some leather gloves. Just everything about her character, though, has color to it. Uh, as I said, Zeb, uh, very true to the gnomish way. Mm. Oh, I didn't notice all of you. Yes. Hello. Um, hello, how can I help we you? Were, <clears throat> I am sorry. Uh, we were sent your way because um, we had some questions that we need some maybe answers, hopefully answers, plus some, you know, maybe some gear to um, help us on our journeys. Oh, oh, like what? Well, like, uh, uh, I don't know, healing potions, things like that, you know, just adventuring stuff, you know. I see. Because we are, we are all such big, brave adventurers, except for the one that's not here. 
So there's another uh, member of our party who's not here right now. He's not a big brave adventurer. But don't worry about that. I just want to point out during this interaction, I'm just kind of back in the corner, and I'm just kind of watching Zeph and this whole interaction happen. And I just want to have like a little bit of a smirk because I think it's funny how awkward it is. Okay. I'm going to let Zep take the lead on the conversation. Um, so potions, healing stuff, stuff like that, just, uh, well, I do have some healing potions I can help you with. Okay. But before we get down to that, I do have some questions because Organa sent us to you because you might be able to help us. I have these letters that we found in a mine where we ran across these eggs and these strange beasts that have been in the lands. They've been, we found that they have gone further than we um, originally thought because we thought we had gotten most of them, but unfortunately we didn't. And uh, yeah, they made it this far. Letters, eggs, potions, and a mysterious creature. Yeah. And then also I will, I will take out the creature that I had taken from Organa and show her. And she just, she smells that just wretched smell that's coming from it. Uh, and you go, oh! Uh, right, right over there. And she'll point to the other side of the counter and you see this uh, like a wooden slab, this wooden tray. Goes, go ahead and uh, put that over there and I'll take a look at that later. That is horrid. You might, well, yeah, but this is this is what we need. And so I will daintily, I'll have, like, between two of my fingers, I'm carrying it. Like, so I'm touching the least amount of it I can, and I'll just go put As it. As you're doing that, I'm going to come into the alchemist, because I'm assuming I'm not seeing anything out outside as far as shoes or anything flashy. No. Question, question, you know, in the shop, too, is it, like, built for, like, human-sized people? Or, okay. Or is yeah, it, like, scaled down? Yeah, you notice the shelving is a little, little abnormally high for you, Rihu and Raja, uh, about chest, neck level, where you'd expect it to be a little bit lower, higher abdomen. Uh, so it is a touch high uh, for you guys. Uh, for Zep and Vandalord, it is out of reach. Well, uh, I'll walk over with to Zep too and help him put the uh, creature out of the slab. It's probably a little under reach. Uppies! As he says that, I'm just like, nope. Y- that's all you. Alright. Fine. So you get the creature put on there. Uh, she does... Uh, you know... Oh, um, okay, so I can take a little... I can take a look at that in a little bit. Um, I will, though. Just trying to get over the smell of it. But I'll, uh, I'll help with that. Um, you said there were some letters. That was obviously the creature. Uh, and you wanted looking for some potions. Um, let's deal with the potions first, then. Why don't we? Oh, okay. Uh, what, yeah, just, um... What are you looking for? <clears throat> um, the, some standard healing potions, things like that to help us, you know, if we are in a, you know, in a pinch, no, in, no, a, in a battle. Are you sure you just want standard? She kind of, like, cuts into what you're saying. Are you sure you just want standard potions? I mean, come on. Well, you know, we, we we have some coin, but we don't have a lot of coin. Um, so, to, you know, to As, as he said that, what what type of uh, po- healing potions you got? Well, I have you interrupt the standard. Me again. I have the standard. You know, Zep, if you're looking for just the stamp, you can get your regular healing potion. I make those every now and then. If you come in more often, I can probably work out a deal. But looking at about... 50 gold, just a regular, everyday, run of the mill, non gnomish healing potion. Wait, you have gnomish ones? And she looks, she goes, Why, why wouldn't, like, of course. And everything about her in that moment says, just, it's just flamboyant. Everything is extra with her. 
So I'm I, <clears throat> Zep's gonna get a little quiet because he's just I don't know he's reminded of home. I'm looking at her. What what do you what's a gnomish healing potion? Well, you see, he's a gnome. I'm not sure what he is, and she points over to Roger. Uh, but I'm really liking his hair. His hair is. Uh, I'm guessing that's a David. human. You're a dwarf, and I'm a gnome, so I put a little bit of flair into everything I do. Okay. As you should. So anything outside of regular healing potions and gnomish healing potions? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to and ask go what flair would work on me. Oh, well, what kind of flair are you looking for? What kind of potions do you have? Um, well, that all depends. Now, you did mention, and she kind of lowers her voice, you did mention you came from Gokana's place. So, well, if that's the case, reputation holds true for some of us in this area. Um, I might be able to help you in time. Right now, what I can tell you is I have some healing potions, uh, as well as, you know, just some little odds and ends. Um, there was one time that I almost drowned in an experience, because it doesn't take much, right? Except it just doesn't take much for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so You I could drown in a sink. Horrible, just you, you get this, this basin of water to take a bath. Next thing you know, you're drowned in So, uh, uh, you know, I, it's like, you know what? I don't want to drown when I take a bath. So uh, I created a potion of water break. I mean, how wonderful is that? Like a slow moving stream, too. Like, that's dangerous. That is very dangerous. That's scary. Um, you know, but, you know, just little things like that. Little things like that. My main stuff that I have right now. You know, especially until this relationship is built up, and uh, I didn't catch your name, but until there's more flair between us, then uh, perhaps there could be some other offerings. I'll just say, uh, the name is Rihu. Rihu, and and yours with the wonderful hair. What is your name? My name's Raja. Raja, Raja you have. There's a silversmith here in town. I bet she would love to uh, work some magic with that. I'll take a look at it. Yes. Um, it's warm. What's that? I was born with this hair. It's pretty. It is. You know, it reminds me of someone I know here in town. Yeah. Get what her name is offhand. She's kind of new. She's only been here. About a, a year or so. She has hair very similar to yours. Is it the the lady with the tattoos all That's over? The one. That's the one. She has a tattoo shop here in town. I'll take a look at that too. Yeah, she's, um, you know, it's she's it's like a love or hate. Either her customers are are amazed by her very unique tattoos. But there are some of them that kind of walk away feeling a bit sick. I, I believe her name was Zahara. Zahara? Zahara, yep. Okay. Now, I don't mean to sidetrack, though. Uh, you had mentioned that uh, you were looking for some potions, and, and I do have uh, two just regular, mundane, any Joe Smo's type of healing potion, the 50 gold each. If, you, if you'd like something a little bit better than them, you can get a minor healing potion. That's a hundred gold. But let me tell you what. When you need a kick in the pants because you are getting these things all over you, I don't even know what that is, but whatever that is, it can't be good. Because when you get those things on, you need a little bit of kick in your pants. This thing, this will do it. I'll take one run-of-the-mill potion. You want one what? One run-of-the-mill healing potion. Just one. Just one. I'll take the other, and then I will take 
um, one of the hundred gold ones as well. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, just before you go spending your money all in one place, haha, do spend it here, please. Um, uh, there are some other things you should know. Okay. I not quite figured it out yet. I know that I can enhance this healing potion um, to greater and greater levels. Now, there are the run of the mill ones that everyone knows how to make, but whatever to those, right? They're not no much. So, I've been working on it, and I figured out how to make one slightly stronger. I call it lesser healing. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's lesser than what I want it to be, right? So, the, the minor, uh, that will that'll give you a good, solid punch. And then the lesser is, I mean, it's twice as strong, basically. So just so you guys know, the minor is a D10, and the lesser, well, it's stronger. Uh, I haven't figured out how to make them stronger than that. Um, and I almost have that one down. As I mentioned, I do have the water breathing, uh, and I also have uh, a couple resistance kind of potions, uh, resistance to different kinds of you know, damage for when you're out there in combat. Mm. Considering who sent you here, I'd imagine that you face some combat. Most people don't talk to her without seeing some combat. Oh yeah, we've we've seen some combat. I'm gonna nod over at Fandalor and just go. Sounds like you could use some of those. Well, I I, I was I was just thinking if I do, you know, if I do a, a regular healing potion. They're a, sold. A minor healing potion and resistance. I'll give you 185 gold for all three of them. Minor, a regular, and a resistance. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now, Vantalord, you seem to have drawn, you know, have good skills. But, uh, I don't know, because you see... Well... My resistant potions, they're not cheap. Well, surely you, you have a little wiggle room for my friend here. Um, you know, I can I can guarantee you we can, you know, if, if we can make some more coin after today, we'll be back for some more stuff before we leave the, the, the city. You know, aside from you being a gnome and me wanting to trust you, everyone says that. Can I just gather the group up? Like in his little circle, so that oh, I can. Yeah, so you kind of bring everyone to the other side of the room to talk to them. Yeah, because... I want to say one thing to her before. Just... Yeah, oh, I was. I was just... say... So, also, what we can do for you, we can spread the good word of your shop far and wide on our adventures. Okay, I'll, I'll consider that. And it looked like you wanted to say something too. Yeah, how, how much do you usually charge for the resistance potions? Three hundred. Mm. I, oh. I can definitely see your uh, your hesitation then for the offer. Well, for sure then, uh, can you do two of the regular healing potions and a minor for the one eighty five? We can definitely uh, can definitely look at some options. It looks though like your your very vibrant haired friend is trying to get your attention. Oh, uh, let me go talk with him quickly. See what's Who going on. The Efret. I was gonna offer to help out anybody if they needed any money because I have quite a bit from the store, but that potion's a little more expensive than I thought it'd be, so it's kind of a never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't need the resistance. I just want healing in case something happens again where someone gets unconscious again. I'm just buying my worst case scenario potion to have in my back pocket. Yes. Well, that's... Um, oh, go ahead. I, I, have, I, have, I have a little bit of coin, but I say I'm trying to save it just in case. And I say, I should, as, if anyone hasn't noticed, I've got a little bit stronger armor on and a nice new masterwork sword. So hopefully that'll help uh, alleviate some issues. Armor and weapons only alleviate so much. 
Well, if you're in, if you're in the front of the battle, not the back, you know, <clears throat> slinging spells. The rest of it's in here, and then I'm gonna poke him right on the chest in his heart. <laughs> oh, that's cold. That. that that's cold, Zeb. Come on. I I meant I that as I meant that as something like the rest of it. You you need to use your heart. Now you begin to sound like my grandpa. No, well, sounds like he was wise. Very. All right then. It's, it's, you I'm didn't going... see you didn't see me fighting against that work before we came into town. I don't know, there's a lot of days. trees. Gonna, there's a lot of trees stop, in the way. I'm gonna stop everybody really quick. And just go. We should really get back to what we first came here for. We've been. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I, sidetracked. I want to get Sorry. done with the potions so she can tell me about the letters and stuff. All right. So. Oh, I'm gonna go talk to her. Maybe I can get a couple of, you know, the potions I was thinking, and we'll, you know, do some bargaining back and forth. So, I I break the group and head back to, uh, the alchemist. Uh, I, I I'm sorry, I came in a little bit after, the rest of my group. I, I didn't grab your name. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that. I did not mean to be rude. So, I don't like to just say hey you there, except for to my. Except to Zeb, he and I have this friendly banter back and forth. Banter. We also knew. We also already knew her name, but that's okay. No, no, that. you knew her name. Oh, I no. did not. We were told. Remember, previous. Yeah. Remember though, when we came okay. into town. Okay. 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 You guys do like the ba- banter back and forth, don't you? We we've Sometimes seen some I combat can... together. It's his uh, face. Sometimes I can't help it. I just roll my eyes at that one. Okay, sorry. So back to our, you know, negotiation. So if I did two of the regular healing potions and a minor, I'm thinking 185. Oh, sorry. Uh, say that again. So I was thinking about buying three three potions. So two of them would be regular healing potions, okay. and one would be a minor, and I can do 185. Is there anything else any of you want? Now, Rhi, who you wanted one potion, right? You wanted a regular? So there would be, okay, so there would be three regulars total in the minor. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm, okay. Uh, What other business uh, do you, Raja, did you want to buy anything? You don't look like the type that would want water breathing, but uh, is there anything else? Uh, no, I think I'll be okay. But I do have a question. Yes. Um, have, do you normally talk to uh, Zahara? Do you just have a conversation? I have seen her around time to time. Um, we've had some conversation. She seems like a very... a good person. Um, she runs a good business, as far as I can tell. Uh, but I haven't uh, built a, a strong relationship with her. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, well, it does sound like there were some letters that you wanted me to look at. This creature. Was there anything else? Well, I was curious if you know, if you have any, or if you know someone in town that might have some... Um, scrolls, like spell scrolls. Mm. I could definitely check my contacts and see. Is there any particular one that you're looking for? And will you guys no. will you all be in town very long? Is, is this a, a quick pass through or are you going to be here a couple of days? Um, I guess sure, we don't yeah. know for sure. Yeah, like we're we're just kind of day by day. That's kind of how we do everything, so far. Uh, Can I get a tattoo? Are are you a minor? Like, no, I don't think so. Let me check how. Do, you, do we need your parents' signature? I'm confused. Um, yeah, I mean you can. I mean, 
Now I don't know what I was asking because <laughs> tattoos are all I can think about for some reason. You don't know how long you're going to stay. He's going to get a tattoo can that it... only takes a couple hours. Won't the ink just burn off? Anyway, anyway, sorry, sorry, sidetrack, sidetrack. Um, um, yes, um, spell script. So yes, we do not know, we do not know right now, like, how long we will for sure be here, but, um, man, now all I can think about is tattoos. Okay, well, tell you what, you can go ahead, get the tattoos, I'll sell you the potions. 185 for the three potions to you, Vantalor. Uh, so that Thank is you. two regulars, and that is a minor. Uh, Rihu, I'll go ahead and sell you the miner for that 50 gold. I do very much appreciate the business, uh, and it's always good to have a gnome in the area. Uh, not too many of us in this area. They, we are here, but it's just, you know, it's not like being back home. Uh, and I'm, yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. You, you said it was 130 for my two potions, right? Uh, what two potions are you getting? Uh, there's the regular, and then the the one that's a step above. No. Maybe one what if I the, the two eggs? Oh, that I have. math. Um. Well, I mean, I I I can. It does one thirty. I think one thirty sounds pretty good. You see, the problem is though, Sam. Although I do appreciate it, is there's already a fifteen gold cut. And you're asking me to do some work by looking at these letters and these, this creature, this really nasty smelling creature. Okay, so so then 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 all right, I will pay the 150, but then you have to give us anything you can glean, like any of the information we can get um, from the letters or um, oh, the sure. creature. Yeah. I, that would yeah, out of the, out of the kindness of my my heart. Um, 150. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so that's a minor and a regular for you, a regular for you, two minor, two regulars, and a minor for you. Uh, and that kind of does it for my healing potions at the moment. I will have more here in about a week or so. Oh. And there's probably some others that I'll scurry up, or scrounge up. And, uh, Zep, I will put a little word out to see if I can find any, uh, particular scrolls. Like, you let me know which ones they are that you can... Um, no I'll have to, uh... Right, well, I can do some research on the see yeah. see what I kind of want to get to just I'm just trying to add you know learn as much as I can I love I love books I love books books are wonderful yes um, there's so okay. much goodness in them so you, they can't hurt you either you have letters now did I hear something about eggs why do you carry eggs around you eat eggs don't carry them around well these these are so these are what the, the that creature came out of so these are not what you'd want to eat you bring them into my shop well, they're they're they're, alive. they're not alive. They're 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 dead, inside of it. They they weren't able to hatch. Something happened to them, mm. and we keep hoping somebody can tell us more from any number of things that we've been able to scrounge up about these creatures. Interesting, interesting. Would you like? I don't them? know. Yeah, I don't know why we brought so many with us, but yeah, we did. <laughs> so. Oh, what were you gonna say, Raja? I have two of the eggs, and I was wondering if you would like to take them off of me, please. Um, I guess I could, or you could hand them to me, either way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll put them over by the creature. Okay. And please I will don't also... in the creature, though. This stuff's nasty. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I got, I got... I'll, yeah, don't I'll take out it. the letters as okay. well and hand them. Okay. Hand them to her. And she'll take a, a look at the letters with the two eggs. If anyone else is going to, just let me know. Otherwise, there's two eggs over by the creature on the far side of the counter. Uh, each of you have the potions you bought accordingly. Just remember to subtract that gold. And then uh, she's looking at these letters right now. And for these letters, I do believe, I do, I do, I do. One, two, three, four, five six, seven letters? Yes. Or notes, really, is more what you've discovered them to be, kind of notes, letters. Well, yeah, it was just seven different sheets of paper I thought that were yep. written or something like that. Yep. Uh, so she looks at them, and you see her eyes just 
as vibrant and flamboyant as her clothes and her personality, her eyes light up when she looks at these films. Um, just wide-eyed, she looks at them and she goes, I don't know where you've been or what you've seen or what, what um, look, I can't, can't fully read these notes. What I can tell you, though, is the arcane language within these notes is blended with orc. I don't speak orc, but I've learned enough little tidbits from, uh, from the tanner uh, that I can recognize. Hmm. Is there a reason why Gorgana wouldn't have been able to recognize it? Because she couldn't recognize it, and if it's orc, that's, that's strange. That? Yes. Because she's the one who suggested you. I don't know. Perhaps she didn't quite recognize it right away. Because it doesn't okay. look orcish. When you when you look at orc, it, it has a certain... And she starts to explain how the letters or symbols would roll out. Uh, and then she shows where those variations are. And it, it is like a fully different accent or, or sub-language of orc because of the way... Zeppa, she's pointing the, the arcane language out you're able to identify it more and more not all of it makes a lot of sense to you uh, but you're starting to see how these two were intertwined with each other uh, so it's very possible that she didn't quite notice that uh, and was just seeing this different text now she might be able to further help you with that but what i can tell you though is it looks like there's some dating uh, some years and, and everyone knows that you're currently in the year of 622. Uh, it looks like if you look here, you see the repetition, and she starts pointing out the areas uh, where there's easily identifiable repetition, where it says 617, 618, 619, uh, and the most current ones are 621, as far as the years go. Uh, We're in 622, you said? You're in 622 currently. Um, as far as the arcane language that she's able to understand, uh, again, Zep, for you at this point, looking at it doesn't make sense, but you get a clear indication that she's aware of what she's talking about. Uh, and she's saying that there is a an essence of magic being used to intertwine uh, creatures in the natural sense, like, um, you know, not fully unheard of, right? There's legends or lores about like chimeras. Uh, so that kind of concept of blending creatures. Uh, and But she notes that there is an undertone of, of a strong undertone of necromancy. Like, not, not just a subtle, uh, maybe, necromancy to heal or necromancy to combine these creatures, but a very strong undertone of, of this, kind of like the connecting piece of all of this. Is, is this okay. information being relayed to all of us, or just... Yeah, so? she's going through it, absolutely, Roger. As she's going through it with her excitement, noticing the arcane symbols, uh, she's just speaking this out loud. Okay, so I'd also like to take the, the tiny silver cages out and ask her if mm. she knows what those are. Because I remember I pulled them from the thing's body before mm. I got sick. Yeah. Let me do some research. If I'm right, I hope I'm not right. Uh, it's... Raja, these are silver cages. I mean, it, it, well, in the end, that's what they are. About an inch by an inch, they're a silver cage. Um, however, they're often used also in some magic spells. And I'm not overly familiar with those. But my understanding is that it falls in the realm of, of the necromancy. So, let me... 
do a little bit of uh, careful and she looks at each of you when she says very very careful research like be careful who you talk about who you talk to I mean necromancy in this area is not just a taboo the Dawn Army and the Pale Emperor Pale theocracy push back very hard against any necromancy. So uh, just be careful. Uh, so I will they look into the creature, the eggs. Hold you everything I can about the notes and how Morgana can translate the orc in them. Uh, but so but, they wouldn't be interested to know that someone is using necromancy in the world, like uh, or. Or should we even not even... I'm just saying, don't go around the block saying you found something that has necromance. Just be careful. Don't cause a panic. Mm. Not everyone understands this kind of stuff. Like, I barely understand it. I understand the type of magic it is, but... That is all I know. Yes. Um, was there anything else in the time being, though? Uh, the potions, I got the eggs, the, the, the creature. You have the letters and she hands them back to you. I carefully tuck them into my spell book. Could you point me to the way to Sahara's tattoo shop? Uh, yes, and it's just right, if you go outside my shop here, um, and then go straight across the town square to the other side you're gonna see her shop it's it's a small little quaint place okay thank you zap's head hurts he is not he is looking distraught definitely right now This is definitely above my expertise, but this is above all of our good. expertise. I'm just gonna go back to being a meat shield because this, when you're when you're saying orcish and necromancy and alchemy, that just for me that smells of nothing but trouble. Well, it all lines we, up with like the guy in the cauldron, right? Well, it's we never works. really. Yes, but we don't. We don't know. Like, the fact that it's written in Orcish doesn't mean he was necessarily Orcish. But like, I was just thinking, we never really got a chance to see much about him before he was dusted. And I just, I don't know. We need to find somewhere safe where we can talk about this a little more. Not that this isn't safe, like, no, you're looking good, right at her. you're good here. I, I fully understand. And that is the point that I was trying to drive. Um, yes. You hear uh, Kokana, you can speak with her. And, and there might be some others. And I'm not even saying don't uh, speak with the uh, Dawn army. I'm just saying mm, be careful of the panic that might come from it. Or what's said so that it doesn't imply that you're the cause do you know do you know anyone that we could talk to about necromancy that won't draw misguided draw eyes? Atten yeah or you know draw attention to us in the wrong way or to them or to you or to Gagana, or to anyone that we don't want to involve in the wrong way Light. I will see what I can find as I do the other Be research. I will reach out um, and see if they if they know and if they're willing. Otherwise, I'll relay what I can to you. Sir. Just give me a day or two. Yes. Yeah. We'll 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 definitely hang around for a little while. I'm gonna get go. our bearings now. 
I'm gonna go stand by the door and kind of like talk to all of you in, in the moment and just say, you know, well, there's a whole town to explore. I'm gonna go get a tattoo. Does anybody else want a tattoo? <laughs> Certainly wouldn't mind uh, taking a look at the place. Yeah, I'll tag along. Nothing I'm else. Not getting a tattoo. Yeah, taking along and laughing at how this young, our young friend handles it. All right. All right. How how can you <laughs> laugh after hearing all that? Like I don't. Okay. Because I don't understand. On the so Rory on those uh, potions of healings. Yeah. Just because they're not an RPG scribe. What are the uh, dice rolls on those? It's a 1d10. On the, the minor, was it? Is that you guys bought? So yeah, I bought I'll... two of the regular and a minor. Uh, the regulars are just that. Uh, a d4. Okay. 1d4. Um, and then... Or it's 2d4. Oh. 2d4 plus 2 is the regular. And then the minor is a d10. So it's the same. Uh, theoretically. Basically, theoretically, it could be less than them. Because you're always going to get at least two on a regular. Uh, so or a three. D a d10 plus, plus 2. Yeah, that was not, I, I, I will not be buying miners. <laughs> that gnomish flare, man, she got me. Um, she sw swindled me good. Yes, That's so funny. each of you guys then walk outside. Yep. Yeah, if you can say that's what Zepp is doing, but I think he's more shambling. Okay. Well, Lost in kind of thought. The, kind of the vibe shambling. I was trying to portray when I was okay. well, Lost in thought. Of the, like, Maybe we should talk about this in private, like about the necromancy and those items. Yes, that, that's what I what I actually said. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I was gonna say I'm I'm gonna let Raja lead the way to his tattoo shop. Then okay. I will do that. As you guys head outside, you enter, of course, back into that main square. Uh, when you're out there, uh, welcome Babcom, Babcom, thanks for joining us today. Um, as, as you walk outside into the square, you notice that there's a big crowd of people. Uh, it looks like to be watching something. And then you start to hear uh, different sounds of some kind of entertainment that's taking place that everyone is watching. Uh, in the center of this square, uh, kind of blocking your way to the other side. Ooh, I think uh, it kind of makes me that those noises and that that reaction makes me think of like the fighting pits. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go see what's going on. Okay. Uh, as you see, uh, go ahead. I'll just follow in. I'm gonna start looking around, seeing if I'm finding those uh, flashy shoes and clothing, just because I still want to find it. Yeah. So, uh, Vandalord, you're, you're kind of keeping an eye out as you each move forward through the crowd. In the center, you see an individual uh, that is uh, in Jubilee. Explain what they see. Um, so you would all see, um, right now she's upside down. So she is mm. on her hands juggling with her feet. Um, so for those of you that were looking for these sparkly pink shoes, they are currently up in the air over her head. So she is juggling like four or five balls with her feet. She has a little music box next to her that's just perpetually playing the same annoying circus music over and over and over. Um, and as she's uh, wearing these ridiculously sparkly shoes, you start to look up her legs and she is in almost like pink leg warmers. They're like knitted um, up to these 
really fluffy, flowy white pants with like a white tunic. Um, and then she has the big clown cowl on. She's got two little buns on top of her head, and then she has her jester makeup on her face. Why do I sense a bard? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> hey, hey, Vantalord, I found the shoes you're looking for. Thanks, uh, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Good job, Okay, Seth. okay, um, um, toss me something else. She is on now one hand with another hand out waiting for someone to throw her something while she's still juggling with her feet. One of the spectators from the crowd, uh, he, he looks around quickly and he grabs a, just a, a coin purse and he throws it out towards you. <laughs> And so she catches it in her one hand. She looks at it while she's still juggling. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. And she sticks it in her pocket and just keeps juggling and holds her hand back out. And then uh, what about like a weapon or like a torch or something? Uh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand and pickpocket the gold that's not hers. I, I feel that. I feel that. Hey, hey, keep it. Keep throwing to me. I, I grab one of my shoes and I throw it at her. <laughs> oh! That's rude. Oh, this smells. The, all right. And she tosses it up and starts juggling it with the with the balls on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I get the gold back to the guy. <laughs> when did you become so righteous? I've never stolen anything. <laughs> Other than my pride. <laughs> you never had any pride. I didn't have to steal that. Other than our hearts. That's the only thing I want to steal. <laughs> she takes the shoe and kicks it back in the direction that it came from. Um... Did it land in front of me, or do I need to go chasing after it? <laughs> I mean, she she only knows partially where it came from, because it flew at her while she's upside down, so... I feel like it would have gone the other way, just because you're upside down, so... <laughs> it feels like the opposite direction. Yeah. Is there, like, a uh, tips, like, jar or anything out there that you're doing yeah, this she's she's got like some kind of makeshift hat that she like definitely stole off of someone at some point it looks like it's freshly worn <laughs> oh i'm gonna go looking after my shoe because i obviously i can see that she's no longer juggling it okay vandalo you go look in yeah she she collects the balls that she's been juggling and stands back up and kind of bows to everyone i will probably be back in like an hour if you all want to come back <laughs> All right. Oh uh, well, I'm gonna throw five five silver into the little hat. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You're very kind. Did your friend get his shoe back? Uh, I I think so. A little look back in. Yeah, well, yeah I, I'm coming back in. Well, that was entertaining. Thank you, it's what I do. That's not all you do. What's that supposed to mean? I saw what happened. If, listen, I have a hat for tips. If you're going to throw me money, I'm going to assume it's for me. That's not what you asked for. You wanted something to juggle, and he threw something that he grabbed as soon as he could, and you took advantage of someone that's not as smart as you. Maybe they should get smarter then. Maybe they should. I look at Zeph and say, now you're being righteous and complimenting people. This is definitely a first. Ah, oh, Mantelord. <laughs> you want to come get tattoos with us? <laughs> I've got plenty, thank you. I'll watch, though. Okay. What's your name? Oh, you can call me Jubilee. 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 Alright. 
Is this, uh, is this what you do? You just entertain? Uh, yeah, when I'm not, uh, when I'm not with the actual circus that I come from, I'm out traveling and performing. It's how I make I've a never living. seen a circus before. You've never seen a circus? No. I think some days oh. our group is the circus. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard about them, but You're I've never funny. seen them. I like them. you. That'll that'll pass. So, well, what do you all do? Do you you perform or? I'm a meat shield. What he means to say is we're adventurers. I was going to say I've never heard of a meat shield before, but it sounds delicious. Only with enough barbecue sauce. <laughs> What's barbecue? Are you sure you're not a clown? Oh no, he. Zep would say it. I am. Yeah, he is. Well, so you're all going to get tattoos then? Are you all going to like get matching cute ones? Are you going to put like your adventuring party's name on your on your butts or something? We're all gonna get angel wings for Zep's angels. No, we're we have been over this Zep. We are not Zep's angels. Actually, what I'd like uh, to do is get a heart, and then there's like a an arrow going through that says Zep's angels through. Yeah, yeah, we can do that as long as we get the you know the the group name Zep's angels is somewhere. I'm guessing we're your not Zep, then. We are not I am, Zep's yes. angels. So you're the ringleader then? He is not. <laughs> he is not the ringleader. He Usually is the our shortest clown. one is not. He's just our loudest one. Loudest one, okay. Oh. I wouldn't say I'm loud, I'm just exuberant at times. And also incredibly righteous. I was in a sense see... arrogant. Only when I see blatant thievery in my eyes. If it's not blatant, do you ignore it? Well, yeah. Plus, if they deserve it, I don't know anything about him, so... Maybe he deserved it, you don't know. That's what I'm saying, but I'll stop it if I don't know. If I can. Good to know. That one was easy, so... I'm going to turn to Zep and go, Zep, I'm pretty sure what we do for money is literally stealing. We go into places and open up chests and take money. You mean in places that are abandoned and that we cleared out? Like, that's the only money I've earned with you guys. <laughs> you start to see the crowd. You start to see the crowd dies down. Go ahead, Jubilee. What was that? Really, if you want to make a living, just perform. You just stand around and do something funny, and people give you money for, for looking silly. So. Just a thought. It seems like you're all halfway there. <laughs> Maybe you're is, that a, is that a height pun, or I'm confused? No, I'm just saying you all look really silly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We are, we are a bit of a odd bunch. Especially this one, I'm going to point to Raja. Since he has the very bright fiery what can features. Say? Well, I'm just going to turn around and go to uh, Zahara's place. It's... Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll yeah. go to the desert with him. Zahara is not Sahara. The Zahara Desert, yeah. That's her last name. Canon. I, I should have. I should have. Oh. It's not. I should have. <laughs> you missed a golden... Just ask me. I can help you with name puns if you want. <laughs> yep. Uh, we, are, we are the last resort. <laughs> so do all of you and Jubilee, do you go with them? Or do you kind of just do your own thing? Or... If I'm invited, I'll go. Uh, I believe Raja, Raja invited you. It sounds like we you could... have an hour on your hands to work into it. Well, we could use a little color in this group. Well, that's what I do, so let's do it. <laughs> so as as I, we're walking... As I said color, I cast press the, press the digitation and cause just a little sparkler. Oh, that's a fun trick! See? You're yeah. already... 
Just join the circus with me. We'll take you with us. Oh, I'm sure there's much more better performers. Yeah, do we have uh, any, like, outside of, like, how, how to, uh, do we have anything, like, what kind of race Jubilee is just by looking? Yeah. So, she's pretty tall. Um, she's, like, 5'7", and very... Not necessarily lanky. She looks like she she trains pretty hard. She's she has like a more athletic build. Um, and with the buns on top of her head, you do see some very subtly pointy ears peeking out. So like an elf almost, or so someone that uh, Vantalord can look up to. I'm five four nine. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we just continuing to the tattoo shop? I say I don't know if I want to go and get a tattoo or if I want to go eat. It is midday and I'm a dwarf that's hungry. You're always hungry, Vandalord. Is there a problem with wanting a good meal? We eat rations for ten days while traveling. I'm not saying that, but you're going to order six meals, not one. Your point? We all don't know use a you, fork. We all know. We all know once you eat six meals, you're out of commission for two hours for your midday nap. Yeah. With, with that, I look at uh, Jubilee. Do you want to go join them for tattoos, or do you want to go have a good lunch? Well, um, how many of you are getting tattoos? I'm just tagging along. I'm not getting a tattoo today. I think just the one. Because <laughs> I always like to eat. I know Can we're we going eat? to eat afterwards. I'll just do the pre the pre-lunch lunch. Elevenses? Yes. What about second lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I am a dwarf, close enough to a hobbit. Halfling. Oh, yeah, halfling. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so it sounds like some of you are getting. Are all of you getting food except for Raja? I'll get food at like after my tattoo. Yeah. That's what I was thinking would be. Afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with Raja just so that he's not alone, and okay. then I'll get something to eat afterwards if that's what we're doing. And Vantalord and Jubilee, what are the two people? I'm a dwarf. I am finding food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm following Vantalord then. Okay. Okay. So Vantalord, you know it better than probably most people that even live here. Uh, you know where the tavern is, and you know where that food comes from. So you head there and. Uh, Jubilee, you follow him, uh, and sure enough, you guys make your way to the tavern, and you're able to get a table there, a couple silver, and the two of you have your food, uh, food and drinks. Uh, Raja, Zep, and Rihu, the two of, the three of you, two of you three of you head uh, just a little bit further, and you end up uh, at... The horrors. Uh, you do notice a sign on the outside uh, that uh, says Inferno Inc. Yeah. Seems like the right place for you, Raja. I'd say so. So I'll just do two loud knocks and then open the door. Yeah. When you, you walk in and you see that. You know, it, it's not much different than other buildings that you've been in. Uh, it's all kind of the same in a lot of ways. Uh, there's wood floor, right, the walls. You do notice that uh, within here there is a, uh, a couple spots where an individual could sit. Uh, it's, it's not like a, an overly comfortable looking area. Uh, just some, some like wood chairs are there, a couple wood chairs so that she would be able to face her client kind of thing. Uh, and when you walk in, you do see her as well. Go ahead and pull that up for everyone. And she, she stands there and she's rather tall. Uh, about five foot eight. So definitely on the taller side. Uh, and she has this flowing, wavy, 
bright, blazing bright hair uh, with these tattoos all over. You looking for a tattoo? I'd imagine that's oh. why you're here. Yeah. But you all looking for a tattoo, all, all three of you. Uh, no, just uh, just this one I'm going to point up to, Raja. Are you sure? I, all three of you could get a tattoo. If you want, I'll, I'll make them match. <laughs> I'm not quite ready for something that permanent. Hmm. Didn't you kill people? I would say that is pretty permanent, if that's true, but I'll just imagine that that's not true. But if that was, that is a pretty permanent thing. Um, oh, so just you, what's your name? Oh, I'm Raja. Raja, nice name, Raja. And, and you can uh, go ahead and do a sense motive, Raja. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's like an insight check. But for Pathfinder... Oh, that's a two. Um, um, seven. Seven? Okay. Um, it's, it's not hard to pick up on. She's saying, she's putting more emphasis when she's, it's like, saying your name or, or talking to you in different ways. Um, not in a bad way. Hey, Ren Rub, thank you for the cheer. Uh, it looks like that is divided up amongst all PCs, so 200 each of each there, and I see that man has been tracking it throughout, so thank you, man. I, I really appreciate you being the mod. Um, yes, so wasn't hard to pick up on. You do kind of hear these, uh, kind of just a, a kindness, or familiar, like a familiar tone with you. Um, so you'd like a tattoo. Where would you like it and what would you like? That's a good question. The, um, I mean, I, I figured you knew you came in here or perhaps you're still looking. You're looking for something for another day. Oh, well, I just, I'm, I want like a tattoo on probably my back. Okay. It's a little one, a big one. Medium one? Not sure the size. Yeah. How about a little one? To cover my back. Shoulder have you, to have shoulder. you ever had a tattoo before? No. Not sure. No. No tattoos? And then I also got to get my arm. I want my arm done. My right arm. But that, that'll be a multiple. Multiple. That'll be over time. I was, I was about, you know, I was about to say, Raja. Raja, <laughs> this, what you're explaining would take well, and there's healing that has to go with it, too. I mean, it, it takes time. I would say probably a couple sessions over a couple weeks to do, you know, to do that. Granted, I could do the arm in the back. Then, you know, I'm not uh, let the skin can heal between those two. But i got to space those out. Um, I, I, I do have a quick question, though. Oh, And yes. so, how, how does, um, does it work the same on, um, like messed up skin that makes sense so then i'll just take off my shirt and roger's back is just covered in like whip scars from while he was a slave just and a bunch of I, I believe this would be the first time that uh zep and rihu you've never seen his back before uh, when he lifts it off uh, you see these uh not just scarring right that that we would see. The two of you have seen him cut before, and you know that when he bleeds, uh, little bits of flames ignite, and then uh, the the wound, uh, you know, depending on how bad it is, uh, but that wound might stop, or or the blood will go away. Uh, and so each of these whip marks that are across his back in different angles, not only have the scar tissue with it, but also a bit of a almost like cauterization that is. Of it as well. Um, she goes, Oh, those are very different. I do believe I can work with those. 
that happened at my uh, home. What is it? home plane? It's uh, it's okay. It's and she she like touches your shoulder in a very gentle way, and in a very. comforting way he goes I have a particular ink that can work with that that ink though Raja you should know it's hard to withstand well it, what kind of ink is it? I don't really... I'm not familiar with the inks of this world. Just back home. Raja, you could take it. You'd be fine. The, uh, the ink... There, there's two kinds of ink. One that I can use that I could... And she looks at it, and you feel her fingers as they trace out some of the scarring. She goes, I could definitely put... like a, a tree with its branches and, and the life coming, flowing from that tree and even incorporate uh, rivers or, or even uh, the, the phoenix. You know, we always hear these stories about these magical, mystical, fiery verbs. Uh, I could even use the lines in here to create a phoenix on your back. I also have another ink, though, that will do one of two things, Raja. Depends on, and I think, and she gets kind of quiet. I think for you, it would work. But no one else I've put it on, it has worked. And she stops herself. If I put it on you, though, it will glow. Or it will make you very sick. Like, like, hold on, like, glow forever and always? Yeah, pretty much. So, like, if he was in the dark, everyone would be able to see him? Unless he covered it up. I would have my armor on. You don't wear a lot of armor. I mean, like, your back would be fine, but if you got it on your arm, it might show. Yeah, I'd probably get... I. I so that, yeah, I'd be okay with the, the, the glowing ink on my back. And then for later time I would like to talk about the arms arm tattoos, that would just be regular ink though. Okay. Yeah, we for can definitely second. we can definitely do that. Now was there a particular image you were looking for? Ooh well, what what do you think would look good? Also, how much would it cost? Because I, yeah, I don't know how much these should cost. Well, it depends. Uh, if we went with something on the back and we just outlined it, it would be much less than if you wanted me to do the full thing. It will be a little bit more expensive with the uh, special ink. Um, so just for an outline if you're looking for an image to kind of cover the whole back ish you're kind of a big guy here um probably 150 for an outline oh. with the special okay uh, and what about a uh so like outlined as in just without filling all of the little yeah. spaces and everything. exactly and you could always come back next week or the following or another day and we could always work on it more, but just to get the outline there, it would be 150. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would like something related to. I don't know if you know anything about the elemental plane of fire. Something tied in. You're gonna see her expression become very somber very kind of like focused in on you and we'll go ahead and jump over to the other two. Uh, I'm gonna Bant and, and Skylar think about think about some kind of imagery too. 
Yeah, I'm looking that up right now. Yeah. Uh, Vantalord and Jubilee, you find yourself at the tavern. The food's been brought out to you. As you know, Vantalord, the food is just mm, delicious. Uh, as always. What, uh, what are the two of you doing? So I'm talking to Jubilee. Is like, so other than street performing and circus performing, what else do you do other than try to grab people's attention for money? Wow. I, I, I say I, I, my brain is, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a hungry dwarf, not thinking fully. I mean, that's that's what I do. Are we all just trying to make a living? I wasn't sure if you did any adventuring or if you did any combat or you just like to help inspire people and give give laughter and joy oh well I try to um, I try to give a lot of laughter and joy and if people are not trying to be joyous and full of laughter like a friend who ruined my fun sometimes they get a little bit violent but that's okay I will keep it to myself I guess oh, oh there's that <laughs> Uh, oh, it, it's all good. I say I, I understand. Uh, Zep, he's a sometimes he's a hard person to read. Um, a little bit full of himself at times, and sometimes uh, he goes from being selfish to self righteous. We're all finding ourselves, so I'm sure he'll figure it out while he's adventuring. Right? That's usually how it goes. Yeah, that's uh, it's one of those I understand as a young young dwarf myself, you know, I've got you know, three generations deep of being paladins and I'm trying to live up to what what they set forward for well, me. Well, do you, do you all adventure often? Is this new for all of you? Um, I'm relatively new to it. As a group, we've we've only known each other like the last three or four weeks. Oh, wow. So we're still trying to learn how to communicate with each other properly. Wow, you have only known each other for three or four weeks and you all wanted to get matching tattoos? That's so sweet. I love uh, that. Zep's putting words in our mouth. I don't so. know. You were all talking about getting Zep's angels on your on your butts and your arms and I don't, I'm just going off of what everybody said. Remember I was saying Zep's a little full of himself? We've uh -huh. been... We're... He wants to call us Zep's Angels because he wants to be the leader. But as a group, we're trying to figure out, you know, where our where all of our places are. So we've been going back and forth on what we want to call our adventuring group. Well, what I have learned in my years in the circus with my family is you have a ringleader, but it doesn't necessarily make them the leader. It just makes everybody the center of attention at different times. Makes sense. So are you on an adventure now, or like you're at your home? This um, is where you stay. Right now, we're kind of on an adventure. Uh, we just came from Dovix Pass. It's about a ten-day journey from here, oh. and we had. We're trying to figure out the origins of these very mysterious monsters. Um, monsters. I actually wanted to. I had one that attacked me, and Zep and Rihu and Raja. They were able to pull me out of a mine to help get me back to health. And this monster literally sucked all my health away, my strength away. I like I. They could have left me for dead. So, I am thankful to Zep and Raja and Ryu for pulling me out of that. They could have literally left me there to die. Well, I'm glad that they didn't, because you seem very nice. Well, I still have a lot to learn yet. So. I don't know. You've been nice to me. Well, I do my best to say I'm trying not to judge people for, before I get to know them, so I appreciate that. I'm glad but, because most people look at this and then they really don't want to talk to me, so... <laughs> I think people need to look more than, more than the outward appearance. I would tend to agree because sparkly shoes do grab a lot of attention, but you don't know what goes on in here. So you, yeah, I was trying to chase you. Say, so I saw you run by with those sparkly shoes, and uh, as a dwarf wearing obviously a lot of armor, I couldn't keep up. So I, I had a little bit of a uh, attention deficit shiny moment. You know, I was mid train, and then I just saw a sparkle go running by. 
That's why I wear what I wear, because how can you be a performer if you don't grab people's attention? If you look boring, then who wants to who wants to watch you? Nobody, right? Most definitely. Definitely uh caught the caught the eye of someone that wanted something shiny. But you want another round of food? Yes. I I look at the tavern keep and ask for another set of today's specials. And just like all the other times, uh, who they, they're used to you by now, Vantalord. You are, uh, in the short time that you've been here, the day, uh, they've yep. come to know you quite well. Uh, you pay well, and you eat everything. So, uh, yep. the uh, oh. couple silver are taken, and more food is brought out. And I, I'm taking care of Julie's food, too. So, for oh, silver. Oh, thank you. Like Cutscene back baby. to Raja. No. <laughs> uh, and actually, with that, we'll go ahead and take a break before we uh, go back to Raja and uh, enjoy the enjoyment of Skylar's very focused face as he's trying to figure this out. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, we'll go ahead and take our five minute break, uh, get up, take a stretch, get some coffee. Don't get coffee, it's late. Coffee's good, though. Uh, and that's blasphemy. I can drink coffee all the way to like 8 p.m. <laughs> that's blasphemy. I can't drink coffee. I can have decaf now and be very happy, but I will drink coffee all day. I don't drink coffee yeah. past noon, otherwise that's, I won't. Sleep. I was going to say, if a cow gives birth, does that become decaffeinated? Oh no. Like I said, I need to be a bard at some point. What's happening? <laughs> no. Even man is going get out. <laughs> no, seriously, no. like. All right, I need to open a window. Yeah, we, it is hot in my office. Right. You guys need to step away. Mics are hot still. Uh, just so you know, Taylor, they are hot. But uh, feel free to interact. Step away, whatever the case might be. Oh boy, Pat, it's sixty-five degrees. It's still coffee weather. And even if it was 100 degrees, there's cold coffee. I don't let the temperature decide coffee. I let the time of day. Interesting. That's the only thing I do. Like in the morning, you like hot coffee and cold coffee in the afternoon? Taking a guess there. Me? Yeah. No, I, I don't drink coffee past noon. Usually I'm done with my fourth cup of coffee oh, by 11 o'clock. Gotcha. I'm I'm sending you the um. In Discord. What? Yeah, it's gonna be from Becca. Yeah, that's fine. Right. That's yeah. So. Mm. You can just copy and paste. You don't actually have to save it. I don't know if you know that's that. That's what I did. Okay. Except her little white bar at the bottom. Like that shows all the shortcut apps and all that. Yeah. Doesn't go away, so I can't click anything on the bottom half of the screen. That's frustrating when that happens. Something so, must So like be my possible. zoom is on the other computer, so I can't see the Twitch. I like I can see the Twitch, but I can't see the chat. Oh no, I'm not even I'm not even in Discord. Oh, it's minimizing. Sorry. Here. Now I need to send. How does this? Usually, this happens because something has popped up. Oh, this. Yeah, most likely. There you go. So even if you just click it. Now I can full screen that. Even if you just click it, it it's it saying that you've acknowledged it. Okay. Um, how does so it say? Just click in, click in here, like that, and then send. Hmm. Um, so I was thinking like that, but then what colors? Is it just red? Because I know when I was reading up on that ink, it did say a color needed.
Oh, man. Okay, now that I got my coffee, I'm happy. Ridiculous. Coffee at 7 p.m. 6 well, p.m. for us. For me, yeah. Ridiculous. That's my middle name. No, it's not. It might as well be. Might. Might as well. No, your middle name is Face Palm. That too. <laughs> Now, if only, if only I was as good looking as I am witty. Wait, that wouldn't be an improvement. No, Pat, I asked that same question before we started streaming tonight if she knew what she was getting into. Yep. <laughs> the cemetery. <laughs> it, it's, uh... As, uh... She's began to second-guess her... Yes, I'll play with you guys. <laughs> Listen, not even a little bit. If y'all can handle her sass, I'm here for it. I should be able to. I mean, I can handle Zep. <laughs> hey, I don't, Zep doesn't have sass. All right? He's got attitude. <laughs> I, I suppose. I suppose. But We're on the... He can't help it. He is technically a kid. So how what, old is, is what does technically mean? Yeah, how are you technically a kid? <clears throat> gnomes, gnomes don't reach adulthood until forty. He is thirty-eight. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so you got Zep who's thirty-eight. Vantalord is twenty. That's why I constantly make the joke that I'm I'm the oldest one in the group, but I'm also the youngest. Okay, if that makes sense. Uh, Reed, yeah. who's older than? Yeah, how old is how I old thought is Ryu, Ryu? I thought he was only in his twenties. Uh, I think he's a, I think he's an old man. In real life when, or in whenever game? he gets <laughs> old. <laughs> no, I'm older than him in real life too. I know that. So Skyler's That's... back. I don't know if Ryder's hiding in the background. Uh, Cause I can't no. remember, Tom. If you're older than me or younger than me. I'm 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 the second oldest. I'm right behind Rory. In real life. 36. You're the oldest dad? Oh, yeah, because yeah. yeah, I'll be 36, 36 in August. I'm already 36. You're not even that old, dad. <laughs> I thought like you were like the youngest one. <laughs> okay, well, we will go yeah. ahead and hop back on. It looks like Ryder is back. Yay. Welcome back, everyone. 41 in November. Uh, you know, it's not bad. Ooh! I, hey, I, just, don't look, I just don't look forward to 40, because I always hear at 40 and then my body can start to pain. So no, that was 30. From, yeah, yeah, so listen. It's 30. Let me tell you. Know, I we... sneezed and my ribs hurt. Yeah. Right <laughs> out, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So I turned 30 in October this year, my dirty 30s this year, but I am also a bodybuilder, which means that my body is I, old and I decrepit build my body. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's falling apart now. <laughs> so All is the injuries. <laughs> so Brown Rory and I are both prior military, and we can both tell you they did not do good for our bodies. I've got arthritis in my lower back. I don't even know what Rory's got going on. Being he, he was an ex-marine. Yeah, I'm telling Rory, you, they're like that. exercise. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's amazing, and then everything just breaks. For obviously, this should go without saying. I'm guessing the the Sunday of the con, we're not streaming, right? Because we got all the one shots. I mean, like, it's not on okay. the calendar, yes. so it's, good. Uh... I was just verifying my own insanity. So, so as a transition, just on that note, uh, we do Hang have... Hang on. How old is Rihu? Oh, yeah. How old is Rihu? Ryder, how old is Rihu? What's Rihu's age? He doesn't even know. He's gotta go look. <laughs> He's gotta go look. <laughs> He's a little bit older. How... how... <sighs> On the top of my doll, I'll say he's like 35. Oh, yeah. See, I'm still older than him. Okay. Um, so we do have Blue Box Con, con coming up next week. Oh, we are 12 days away. We are two weeks. Two yep. weeks away. Yep. And we have Blue Box Con coming up, so that weekend we won't be streaming uh, Fall of Red Dawn or Tears of Air, but we will be still streaming 
uh, from the game shop that we'll be hosting some of our one shots at. So there'll still be content going out from Blue Box. I'm pretty Just sure there's three. Place. I think there's two or three live streams. Yep. Well, there is throughout the con. There's some live streams going on, and then also on that Sunday as well. There's some going on. Uh, so do still stay tuned. Uh, we'll still have some content going on that way. Um, I think that's the biggest news right now. So. Uh, I got a haircut. Uh, yes, Skyler did get a haircut. If no one has noticed, no, I wish I had one. I noticed, but I didn't think it mattered. <laughs> yeah, that's... Skyler, you look like a stud. It it matters about as much as my rubber football bat. Yeah, yeah no, uh, Band Band Lord, I know. Uh, I, there's a couple times a day on Sundays What's that I can rubber really football give you bat? a moment that uh, you really enjoy. So take it away with uh, your favorite. Yes. All right. So as he said. Okay. For anyone that's been watching us for any amount of time and you're and you're watching on Twitch and you haven't subscribed, it's a good way of helping the channel. It helps to support, you know, some of the nonprofits. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're subscribed and your subscription has lapsed, why? Especially if you have Amazon Prime. Who does it? It's free with your Amazon Prime. If you're watching and you haven't followed us, just give us a little bit of a follow. You get notifications. And finally, if you're here with us right now, and you're not on our Discord. We've got in-game text play. You can get backgrounds for the characters. We've got a great community that that is really, really active. Join us on Discord. So that has the question. What are you, what are you doing? doing? And just so my players know, that is something we all take part in. Uh, it's you can't a, make me. This is America. It's a uh, blue box tradition that we do ask that. Uh, as you can see, the little emotes that we have. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Tom, you nailed that. So thank you for doing that. I know you enjoy doing that. So uh, yes, if you have not uh, done any of that stuff, take part in it. Head over to our Discord. Uh, just some wonderful content over there as well. For all the channels for stuff like uh, fan art, for stuff like the con, or just general conversations. It's just filled with content over there. Oh, Who is God. drawing Jubilee fan art? I'm ready. Let's I, do I it. say a lot of the fan art used within. Let's say the goal is to update it on the website as well. There's an entire fan art channel. Um, I'm hoping to update at least once a month minimum. There's information about not only our characters but the players, so yes. you can get a little bit inside of our own heads, Tom, which may oh, be yeah. scary. You did, uh, you did update that part. You and I will have to get together on the uh, fan art stuff, but uh, we will get yep. it updated. Uh, just working through some of the content, and then it will be soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. So, with all that, let's go ahead and jump back in uh, over to uh, the tattooist. Uh, and... Raja, uh, you had asked, what was the last thing said? It caught her attention. Oh, that's right. You had asked specifically um, something with the imagery of the plane of fire. Uh, and that had caught her attention. Uh, she goes, tell you what. I have been here a very long time. Sorry. I have been here in Wood's Edge about a year. But I have been searching for a long time. Uh, and I think, Roger, that might be something you can help me with. What are you searching for? Well, how about we talk after the tent? Okay. Did you think of an image that you want? Yes. Um. <laughs> and could you describe it? Like so the drive. Yeah. Um. Let's see. How do I describe this? 
I would like a phoenix with the wings open okay. from shoulder to shoulder yep. with the body and the head centered. And then, how, how would you describe the bottom of that? Um, are you looking for a fully fleshed out like tail feathers or are you looking for something more like ash? You know, being it's a phoenix and they rise from the air, are you looking for kind of an ashy particle type bottom? Are you looking for flames at the bottom? Yeah, I, I say like for your life, you could uh, like falling ash coming from the bottom, that was good. And then like sparks falling off of the wings. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I can definitely outline this for you today. If you want okay. more, you can come back and we can always revisit that. Uh, are you wanting the special ink? Or are you uh, wanting... Yeah? I'll take that, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, your names. Um, I believe it was uh, Zep and Rihu? Yes. Correct. And this process um, is not an easy one to undergo, being the ink that he wants. And um, Actually, you know what? Uh, Raja, can I try something? Sure. And she'll softly reach out mean, and sure. grab your arm and it fully extend it towards her. She goes, do you trust me? Sure. So reach back to her table, and she pulls just not even a dig, just a small little knife. And she places it on your arm. She slides it just a little bit, just enough to open it up just a little. She beforehand looking around, making sure it's only you guys in the room. She draws just a little bit of blood. Uh, Zep, you and Rihu, you see that the blood whew, flickers into flames. It goes... Yes. You can handle the ink, but it is tough. Um, it will be 150 gold. If you get sick and pass out, I still get my gold. Oh, yeah. No, if I... Yeah, what do you say? Sounds good. As long as you finish the tattoo. Once you pass down. Well. Or does it become dangerous? It, it does. It does. So I can continue even after you pass out, but there's a point when your body might start to convulse. Okay. Yeah, you'll still get your gold anyway. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, and so she sits you in the chair and she, she pulls out this ink and the, the other, uh, Zep and Rihu, you notice it's kind of a red color. Roger, you see this too. It's, it's a bit of a red, not a true blood red color, but it's a red ink. Uh, and she, then she grabs a kind of a stick looking object uh, and then a small mallet. And she, she dips the stick and goes, okay. Once we start, we don't stop. Mm -hmm. Roger, you're laying on your stomach. Your back is exposed. As she had uh, traced out with her hands where the wings can go and fit in with the scarring on your back. Uh, and she starts to tap that stick. Tapping, tapping, tapping into your back. Uh, in a very methodical way of tapping this ink into your skin. Uh, go ahead and roll a con save. I have a quick question. Would his back be like numb? Would all the nerves in his back just be dead? Or would it just be where the scarring is that they're dead? I don't know how that affects Kind of just depends. Uh, scar tissue can help cover some of it. Uh, what's it called? Where? I mean, what? Where is it at? You're doing a... Sorry, a fortitude save. Oh, oh. That's why I couldn't find it. 17. Okay. Uh, so for the first part of this, uh, you're... It's not a pleasant feeling. Uh, it's just not forward. 
Um, right. You do feel a burn kick in. Uh, it's kind of a comforting feel to the burn. Zep and Rihu, as you uh, see the ink start to set into place, you start to see a slight glow. It's nothing extreme at this point. You just see a slight glow start to come. Uh, almost like this phoenix is coming to life on his back. Go ahead and roll a second fortitude save. Yikes. Uh, 11... That was heavy dice. I heard it land. Yeah, it didn't roll very well. It just kind of. Um. Okay. I kind of. So the pain at this point is starting to become. It, it kind of just skipped. Suddenly, it hits you as your muscles in your back begin to tighten. Um, and the pain starts to become fairly unbearable. Um, and she she notices it. Says, do you need a break? We can stop if you need a break. Otherwise, we can continue. Mm. Look, um, I suppose it'd probably be best if we do take a break, actually. It won't be too long. Otherwise, the skin will start to really get puffy and then the yeah. red isn't is it's hard to see where I'm placing it so uh, just a small short break catch your breath uh, time passes anything during the break that the three of you want to do I uh, just consider like a five ten minute break I don't think there's anything I want to do no not in that little bit of time Next thing you know, Raja, you back down on your on your stomach, uh, and she starts to tap, tap, tap. You feel this again, this methodical beating of this stick in your back as it's tapping, spreading out along the sides. Uh, and your form, uh, you very well built. Your back is, is wide, and she's placing the wings. Um, And then go ahead and roll your last, possibly your last fortitude save. That's a natural 20. There you go. Uh, you do make it through the rest of the outlining of this phoenix. And to give everyone a view of it, Uh, so it, this outline of this phoenix with the head in the center, uh, she worked around the spine, she incorporated the scarring into the wings and the sparks that come down, and then the ash that's falling, uh, which kind of um, straddles both sides of your spine, uh, both from the, between the shoulder blades with the head down to just above low, the lower back area for the tail as it spreads out. Uh, your back steams currently uh, quite a bit. Uh, with the dim light that's in this building, uh, Rihu and Zep, you see the faint glow that has taken place across this entire tattoo. Uh, just enough to see... It kind of just illuminates his back at this point. You see see the whole surface of his back with the illumination of this uh, bird. I have a quick question, Dad. Yes. Do we have milk? Awesome. Probably. Okay. Uh, and your tattoo is finished. Um, that is all. Anything? Are you sure the other two of you don't want one? Oh, you said 150 though. 150. Okay. I'm positive. How much will it be for the the the, the 
fill in if we choose to, so that when I come back, I know I have a the proper. Yes, uh, if you want the full tattoo filled in, um, be another three hundred gold on top. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, there's just being an example of what uh, he had outlined on his back. And then I'll just leave my shirt off. That's gonna be a lot of shading. <laughs> I always thought he was a shady character. Uh, so yeah, you, you leave your shirt off and you're done with the tattoo. Um, Let's go eat. There you go. So the three of you head over to the tavern and meet up with both Bantelord and Jubilee. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I see. I see. Uh, Raja's looking for any excuse to take his shirt off. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll just turn around because I don't, I don't need. <laughs> I just realized I haven't even seen it yet, so. Wow. That's ginormous. How's it look, though? Oh. I don't think it has eyes to look. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I will pull out. I, I probably have some kind of mirror to make sure that my hair looks cute in my bag. So I will pull out like a little hand mirror and, and try to angle it um, up against the window so he can look into the mirror and then see the reflection of it behind him. I'll cast a minor image and it'll be exactly what he can see, what his back looks like. I look at Zep and I'm like, she was trying to do something cool and you went and did that. I I don't know how to do that. I I was trying to help, sorry. Did you get a good uh, visual of this guy? It, it was difficult with the like double mirror reflection attempt. And you saw it, a little bit of it. You saw the glow from there, right? Yeah. Uh, that you're not able to get from the minor mirror image. But with the mirror image, you're able to see the full extent of how that tattoo looks. Right. Yeah. I'll just go get some food. What time is it now? Mid afternoon, like three, four. Okay. It's mid afternoon, three or four, which means I've been eating the last yeah two hours, which means it's almost nap time. <laughs> we will uh, we will not consume as much as he did, so just a a quick meal. And the the same barmaid that has known since she came, she comes over and she you know, gets any kind of the food or drinks that you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Zep's not eating. Zep's not eating? Nope. Okay. What's wrong? You're not hungry? I am not right now, no. Oh. You haven't eaten since breakfast. If you put food in front of me, I'll just eat it no matter what time it is, so... She sounds like a dwarf at heart. Maybe a little, I don't know. Ah. Uh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Ryu. Uh, Ryu. No, I wasn't going to say anything important. <laughs> I was just saying, I didn't know what, uh, what else to do here besides. Oh, I, I, okay, we'll sit down with Jubilee. Oh. Um, and ask if are you always in such a flashy outfit? Uh, yes. Is there like a time that I am not supposed to be? Well, I just didn't know if you were always performing or about to perform, or if you ever were not. Like if you, uh, if it's like work and not work. Oh well. Um, actually, if you want to know if I'm truly always performing, she takes her hands and starts rubbing her face. Mm. Um, the, the makeup doesn't come off. Ah. It's tattooed. 
the uh, the comment about enough tattoos. Yeah. Makes more sense. I have plenty. Did that hurt? Yes. <laughs> there was this guy I knew back in my village named Michael Tyson who did that too, and <laughs> he was a, he was a weird guy. <laughs> With you a little sore after that? No, I mean he he, he couldn't speak at all, so. <laughs> Sorry, I'll behave. Maybe, kind of, not really. <laughs> well, so your friend was telling me that you're all adventurers. So, is there a time that I should not? be wearing clothes this flashy because it kind of seems like th the impression that I'm getting is maybe that's not a great idea all the time? I think there's moments when you want to blend in moments when you want to stand out. Well, the, the good thing is if you want to take me with you, then if I look like this, then you all look pretty plain, so I can just always be a distraction? And then you can all sneak places and I can just talk to people and annoy them. And then you never have to worry about getting caught. <laughs> but, uh, but sometimes you can't talk to them. I mean, these creatures that we've seen, they, they don't talk. They just try to eat you, drain you of whatever you have. Well, why are you going near those? How else That's are we supposed to question. save people? <laughs> So are you are you hired to do this? Mm, in a way, in the last place, yes. Money ah. can talk. Wow. Sometimes well, it's for money. Sometimes it's for the good of the world. It all depends on what we need. Let's say, if it's something where so dire, I'll well, just stand up, try to fix it. But if it's like, eh, it'd be nice. I'll usually ask for a little bit of coin. We all gotta, we all gotta eat. Mm-hmm. Family's gotta be taken care of. Well, in this case, okay. me. We all gotta eat. Sometimes we get Phoenix tattoos. It's okay. Well, to be fair, I do understand uh, being worried about your family because I'm, I'm worried about mine, so that's kind of why I'm out here. So if you do want to take me with you, maybe I can help save the world and then everyone will be really proud of me and then I don't have to worry about anything anymore because then I'll be some magical hero or something. What's wrong with your family? That's for another time. I don't have a okay. family. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struck a nerve. Oops. There's always one. Every adventuring party always has one. I'm sorry, I took that out of context for a second because that, that sounded very much like a Batman scenario. <laughs> I don't have a I family. I have no family. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's four in the afternoon, Raja. Did the text take that, that much out of you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna walk. Raja, you're like, you're not so tired for bed, but I mean, it, tattoos are a little bit exhausting, especially yours. Um, Just wanna lay down. <laughs> more like a, a bad sunburn type of exhaust. I feel like adrenaline. Oh, I understand that. Crazy. Before, uh, before Raja walks up to bed, I just wanna walk behind him and, you know, Put my arm around him, give him a good old slap on the back, and just say, oh. "How you feeling?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> fortitude save. No. <laughs> well, yeah. I know that roll feeling for, so well, disease. and I can feel roll it. Roll for disease, because <laughs> his hands are dirty. That's open <laughs> wounds, man. Well, he doesn't have his shirt off right now. I'm assuming. He, he left what do you mean? He never said he put it, it back off? on. <laughs> yeah. You, you just hit the tattoo raw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With your dirty, dirty hands. Whack! <laughs> I never heard you once say you were gonna wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Well, 
I look at the rest of our strange crew, I'm like, so what do you think, should we uh, bring out another merry adventure? It could be worth some good laughs. Please? Well, here's, why does Jubilee want to adventure with us? Are, are you asking me? I am. Yes. Because no one else has ever invited me before? I mean, you, you fit right in. It's a bit as of a long as we get you like some kind of dark cloak, then you'll fit right in. Otherwise, you'll stand out. Um, can we? What? Uh, you don't have to wear it all the time. I just mean for uh, is there, certain scenarios. Is Is there a way that we can get it in pink? Uh, how about we get two, one in pink and, and a and a dark one for certain scenarios. Okay. And you can wear the pink one whenever you want, unless we say it's time to sneak. Okay. Bob gets trains, but okay. Oh, wait, talk about this... conditions. No, this can be fun because I can have like an alter ego, and I've never had to do this kind of thing before. So why don't we have my this one for when like I'm performing, and then we'll have sneaky one. And it'll be yeah. all black, super sneaky, and it'll look exactly the same, but sneaky. I like yeah. that. <laughs> but sneaky. I'm just it'll, like, it'll at this point, sneaky. I'm just sitting there laughing. Sneaky one. So, um, I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and I'm going to take 10 gold, and I'm going to put it in her pocket. Into Jubilee's pocket. Why? I feel bad. For taking that money from you that you earned? <laughs> <laughs> you earned? <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, I've ever heard. it wasn't my place to step in and do anything about it. So I am sorry. Well, you don't have to give this to me unless you want me to put it towards my sneaky outfit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to have two different voices. There's going to be my oh. regular one, and then there's going to be my sneaky voice. Yes. Put it put it towards your sneaky outfit. Okay. It'll, As... make, it'll make me feel better because I shouldn't have done it. So, guys, I have a question. You saw her how she's juggling out in the... In the uh... The courtyard or in the center of the town. I wonder how she would do with dagger throwing. Oh, how I accurate are you? Real good. I have an idea. Because I'm assuming you've never adventured, so you never have had any weapons before. Well, so I do know how to use swords just like a little bit. I know how to swallow them. And then also I know how to use daggers because I know how to juggle them. How are you accurate are you at throwing them? Like, have you ever thrown them at a target? Huh? Well, kind of. <laughs> I have an idea. I've so guys, during our last combat, I uh, was able to grab several daggers. I I reach out and I've I I had two of my daggers. I just got to Jubilee. Gives practice throwing these. I don't think she should do that in here. Man. No, not in here. No, 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 not in here. Obviously, <laughs> she's like. Oh, oh, not here. Okay, okay. Where then? Um, outside. I said we can go outside. We can find an area where we can throw and practice tar doing some target hitting. But I figure, and we we should practice your sneaky voice too. Yes. Like, like what is okay. what is your sne what do We're you gonna... think for a sneaky voice? <laughs> We're gonna go <laughs> throw some knives in the woods. For some reason, it's just <laughs> a really strained version of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay. I love the chaos that's gonna ensue from this. <laughs> I'm watching the chat right now. A normal dagger and a sneaky dagger. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so we have normal dagger, and that one has, like, a pink hilt on it. We wrap it in, like, some pink leather, and then we got sneaky dagger with the black leather, and then we throw both of them at the same time. Oh. <laughs> or if you, threw, if you threw the sneaky one just a little bit after it, they might not see it coming. That's a good point. 
Yeah. Then it'd be extra sneaky dagger. Extra sneaky. Uh, well, I think it's decided, guys. Unless I'm speaking for myself, but I think she should join us. I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be laugh. It's gonna be he very enjoyable. Yeah. We could always use another angel. We could, uh, you know, uh, looking at our group, we need a little color, and that's definitely a little bit of color. Really? That's a lot of color, but I am fine with that. <laughs> I, would, I would much rather be called Jubilee's Angels than Zepp's Angels. Oh, oh, I like it. <laughs> she, she seems she seems a little unhinged, so let's not go there quite yet until we get the door <laughs> What makes you say that? The mm. laugh. The laugh. <laughs> I could make a. I'll make a sneaky laugh. Oh no! You, know, you, you don't have to do that. I don't want to <laughs> stifle your, your laugh. It's just like if there's anything that made someone think, oh boy, she might be a little unhinged. It's the laugh. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. It's just you know, book by its cover kind of thing. Uh. I like. Well, this would be fun. <laughs> I, I, I don't uh, even know where to go uh, with this right now. Ma 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 Manda, that's I, I have a fear of clowns in real <laughs> life. Then yep, then so. that's the name we have to go with. I'm sorry, Tom. I had no idea. Yeah, I uh <laughs> we bring on a new person and all of a sudden we have a name. <laughs> like <laughs> like her laugh doesn't make me think of clowns, but it's not great. Uh, <laughs> new, new group name idea: Down to Clown. Uh, <laughs> I mean that doesn't scare me, so I'm cool with it. Whatever. It's never gonna be Zeb's Angels. It's just fun to tease Vantalord with. <laughs> oh. Now that we've gone. Completely off of the rails yeah. that Rory had. Oh no, no, you guys are not good. sorry whatsoever. Hey man, these are—it's always the good. players' real rails. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say, uh, welcome to the group. Please don't get us killed. And that's my job. We look forward. <laughs> I make no promises, but now we gotta practice being sneaky. <laughs> and apparently also throwing these. We just gotta find something that you're you feel comfortable with um doing if if we do come across something we have to take care of. In the yep. form of you know, say bandits or you know, an orc or, you know these creatures again. You know. Anything, Dude, really. Like, what kind of creatures cool. are we talking about? Because I'm great at that, talking to people. That's the fine. Thing, the thing that we, we gave to the uh, the little gnome? I have no idea what you're talking oh, wait, about. I wasn't mind. there for that. You're right. <laughs> um, I don't think it's worth bringing that up in the middle of a tavern. Can you imagine the chaos settle in Suzep? Why don't we... Uh, not, I just said creature. Like, I'm not going to cast minor image of it. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it because I can. Tomorrow I could. Oh. Uh, Roger, you noticed that Zahara walks into the tavern. Uh, he's asleep, dude. Yeah, that's why I haven't. He said talked. he went to bed. <laughs> I'm just saying that, like you're saying it. Okay, well, everyone oh, else, you no. noticed Zahara walks into the tavern. <laughs> Bed. Roger. I don't know who hey, Zara looks like, so I'm just gonna it's, lean it's on tattoo down. lady. It's the red, red-haired tattoo it's, lady. It's it's Miss Miss or Mrs. Desert. I never got her marital status. Whoa. <laughs> yup. I don't even know what rail we're on right now. Uh -huh. She walks over. Thank you. Thank you. Where? Where is Roger? He he's sleeping one off. Yes, he, yeah, he's he sleeping sleep. it off. And I said, tomorrow, will you please be sure to have him uh, see me? I have some stuff yes. I'd like to talk to him. Oh. Well, do you want us to tell him the stuff? Do you want to tell us the stuff? And we can tell him the stuff. 
Uh, you can simply let him know that... I'm going out I'm just on saying. A, I'm going out on a little bit of a limb by saying this, but I'm quite confident in what I believe to be true, in that he is in not immediate... But in the near, within, look, he's not necessarily safe. He's safe here. This uh, is why I've been here for a year. Uh, but those who are likely after me are probably also likely after me. Okay. There's no guarantee. I, I do not know will. him from anything else, but I have no immediate danger, no need to let him rest. He needs his strength. Just let him know to him. He needs to come see me. Okay, we'll come see you tomorrow. Any danger to him is a danger to us. Yup. Oh yeah, it probably would be some, some danger. And she, she'll turn around and walk out. Unless any of you stop her. No, I'm wait, wait, what kind of danger? I'm new here. Let's see what kind of danger. Um, you weren't there at the tattoo shop. I don't really even know who you are, but you're at this table with these, and you see she's kind of anxious. She leans in, and uh, the ink that I used on him can only hold on people like us. The fire people? And what you saw on his back isn't unique to him. Fairly common thing for many of us. So, uh, when we venture to gain our own independence, it's not, well, there might be a lot of fighting. At least fine. As long as I can't, as, unless I can keep hiding from them. Wait, who? Wait, look, tomorrow, come see me. Be able to explain more, come to my shop. The door is secure. Not here. Okay. We'll make sure to tell him. No, no again, no immediate danger. I just figured I'd be able to catch him. But, uh, no, no. We'll just, we'll stress, we'll stress the importance of it, but, you know. We'll try to make sure he doesn't feel too scared. Yeah, just enough. Okay then. Sure. Well, well, that's concerning. <laughs> that's well, again. That's considering we we know very little um about him because he doesn't talk m much at all. Well, eh, much. Um, you know, we're gonna need some information because clearly now we have more enemies, you know. We got Father Samuel to worry about, he's our enemy, and we got, you know, whoever these people are. I feel like I'm going to need a debriefing. As we're, as we're sitting there, I'm gonna go, do you think it has anything to do with the scars that we saw today, Seth? Oh, no, I think for sure that... She made it a point to talk about them and say, like, he's not the only one that has them. And... So, so then I'll quickly turn to the whole table and go, so when he took off his... I don't know if he saw it underneath... You might not be able to tell tattoo. through the scar, or through the tattoo, but... He, he had some... Lots of scars on his back. Yes. There are some days where I wish Rihu would talk a, 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 a blend between you and me, Zep, just so that way we can kind of know about his mysterious background. You mean Raja? Yes, Rehu's thank you. right there. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to go into a food coma. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because our names start with R doesn't mean that you're allowed to mix us up like this. I'm yeah, sorry. I would, never, I would never. I would never insult him like people. that. Okay. Well. As as I say that, I, I task the ta the the uh, tavern keeper 
two gold to pay for everyone else's meals around the table. Okay. Still not eating. I don't care. I'm then I'll be a tip. I'm saying it. I'm still not eating. That's all. Do you have like an, like a food aversion, or or are you do you have dietary restrictions? Do you no. need a veggie burger? No. No, I eat normally. I just I don't have a taste for it right now. I have no desire to eat. What if it's cake? Cake. Because like you have your you have your regular have stomach for food, and then you have your dessert stomach. Wait, you have two stomachs? <laughs> I mean, literally, probably not, but that's what it feels like. Did you know that cows have four stomachs? I think I did know that. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I was like, maybe you were half. I was starting to think maybe you were a half cow or something, and like that's why you have two. Oh no, no, I'm just a oh. half elf. Oh, but what's the other half? Is the other half? So it's elf and cow, right? It is right? not a cow. It's not. Oh. But do you want cake? Because I'll check no. if they have some. No, thank you. Thank you, thank you, but no. I just... Oh. I don't. I appreciate the offer. Okay, so... Yes? Are you not I even doing drink. fancy drinks tonight? I am not. What's a fancy drink? We have a little. It won't happen tonight, but we have a little. Um, a small tradition. A small tradition starting that whenever we get to a tavern for the first time, we order their fanciest drinks. But we had that last night here. Yes. But it's not just you know. I mean, it just it's happened a couple of times. It's just it's fun. It's, it's how it's, it's how fun our to group do. celebrates. Yes. Okay. So, so like fancy drinks, like you like you get tea. Or like, um... The fanciest alcoholic beverage that the tavern may supply. Like, with an umbrella? Or like this one time it had this, um... This, like, cinnamon stuff around their lip? And it was... It was and one of them is really, 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 really good. Yeah. What? Yeah. It had, like, flecks of gold around the edge. And then there was another one that it might have killed you if you drank it wrong. That just sounds... That sounds terrifying. Instead, it just killed his personality. No, it's oh. still there. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're not celebrating this evening. Maybe, maybe another evening. Maybe tomorrow another... if, uh, oh. if uh, Raja recovers from his tattoo, we may have to celebrate that. <laughs> well, I was going to say, is, is me hanging out with all of you forever now not a reason to celebrate? It, it would be, but it wouldn't be right to celebrate without our fifth member. Yes. That so is true. we might true. have to wait till tomorrow. That's fair. That. that is true. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, when we get a chance to talk about some of the things that happened today, it will be more... Some of us might be more ready to... Um, partake in celebrating. Okay. Okay. Barmaid walks up, she grabs the plates and the empty empty uh, glasses and she, she Oh where's the where's the other one? The other one? Oh he left. Oh. Why? Oh I had a uh... Why are you asking? I had a glass of milk ready for him. I must have already laid down, but uh. I'll take the glass of milk. Uh, here, here, here you go. That way it doesn't go to waste, but uh. Okay. And she takes her, you know, all the other plates and brings them to the bath. Hey. Hey, once so once she's gone. Hey, hey, Vandalord? Yeah? Don't drink that milk. He didn't Why? ask for milk. He didn't ask for milk. We were I, just warned that people might be after him. Don't drink the milk. Fair enough. Even though I know Rory knows why I'm laughing. <laughs> okay. So how do you guys, uh... You guys 
continue down here and you guys head over to the other another store or how do you guys want to proceed through the rest of this day here as we wrap up I would just like to have a normal rest of the evening I think we've accomplished what we're looking forward to do we still need to throw sneaky daggers or Ooh. Do we want to throw uh, sneaky daggers? I am always I mean, down to throw daggers. daggers. We have to. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Did, does anyone like? Does, does anyone know where we can go in town, or do we just need to go find a tree on the edge of town? I was about to say we're literally in a town called Woods Edge, correct? So can we? I would say. Go to the yeah, but remember edge. we had this discussion on the way in about the town name. <laughs> yes, it's in the woods, man. You guys do not on the edge. Of spots where you can go. Yeah. And, you know, there's, be woods in. That's all I'm saying. In woods. Easy enough if you guys are wanting to go find a tree or something to throw at. Uh, there, there's plenty even on the edge of town or anything you can find. That's, I was just going to go to the edge of town, find a nice uh, tree. That's probably the easiest. Huh? After after listening to the way Zeb talked from the milk, I will just say I will let you three go. I will stay at the tavern just to keep an eye to make sure nobody comes after Raja. Well, oh, that's probably sleeping. a good idea. Okay. So, Rihu, you head up to Raja's room. And you hang out there. The other three of you uh, head over to a nice uh, wide tree. Plenty, you know, it's probably a good, it's a big one. Probably a good three and a half and a half feet wide, so it's got some good size to it. Big old nice, you know, like an oak tree or pine tree. Uh, so, you know, just taking a couple minutes, how would you like to, uh, how would you like to do that? Would you like to have someone stand there? Are you just gonna throw at the tree? What are you guys oh. wanting to do? Oh, does Did anybody anyone anyone bring an to apple target? with? Did anyone bring an apple with? I was put it on my head. This. How about put we do this? Head. I I take one of my one of my with my height with my height and then the apple on top. I'm gonna be about heart level for a, you know an average person maybe kind of. So like, how about we do this? Zeb, just because just we don't feel like decapitating someone, go stand you underneath don't? the tree. I'm gonna take my dagger and I'm actually gonna carve. I'm gonna dagger. carve out right above his head. So a line with my other day with one of my three other daggers and I want to literally chip out a spot you know about yay big right at the center with the line at the center of it how can you so, decapitate someone with a throwing dagger I don't want to go in through your throat well that doesn't decapitate me but okay well it would be like you throw it and then it sticks and then like you, uh -huh. you gotta jiggle it to get it out and then all of a sudden it just like phew. Well, yep. yeah, but Whoops. I would assume if you accidentally hit me in the throat, you would just leave it, and then we go find a person, a healer. Maybe. I would love to see someone heal that, especially if it went all the way through your spine. <laughs> oh. So, you so are you volunteering as my target? Yeah, I'll go stand at the tree. Okay. So, Zep stands at the tree, you got the marking that Vantalord made that would have been right above your head, about heart level. Uh, you stand there and you believe you got two daggers. You got your regular dagger and your sneaky dagger. All right. I knew I knew a guy. I knew a guy. He called this the ultimate trust fall, so I'm trusting you. You, you once knew a guy. I, <laughs> no, no, he's still around, I think. I mean, he doesn't, he has one eye and six fingers, but he's still there. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit. Oh boy, okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh okay. man. Okay, okay. Oh god. I've done this in real life with a dartboard and 17. still get darts. 17. And you have a dagger loaded into your... Uh, let me equip it. That is my main hand. Cool. This is all new for me. Oh, it's a minus two. That's good. I'm not great at this because I'm a bard. So never mind. It's a fifteen. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen's still not bad. Yeah, it's still good. Uh, in that box that uh, that square that Vandalwood had made above your head, seven, you just hear this thump as the blade sticks in. What? What? 
Is it the sneaky one or the regular one? I can't see. That was regular. You want me to throw sneaky? Yeah, but you okay. gotta do it sneakily. Okay. I don't know how. Okay, got it. Um, she flips back onto her hands and puts it between her two feet and flings it. <laughs> she like oh, flexes man. her ankles and flings them with her feet. Oh, oh no. my trust is misplaced. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, it's another 15. <laughs> Total of 15 okay. or like 17 No, total of 15 two. and 17 minus 2. Okay. Woo! <laughs> uh, and you were a little bit caught off guard there, Zeph, because she went back on her hands. You're like, what are you doing? Uh, and it just hits a Yeah. Head. Yeah, there would have been panic for sure. Just just to show off a little bit, I'm going to take my dagger and I'm going to throw it at the same Hey, nobody said box. it was okay for you to do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. I have a proficiency now in daggers. I've been using them so much. True, truly a, a sneaky no, you don't. dagger here. Go ahead and throw yep. dagger. Oh, yes. So I have a plus six of daggers and I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Out of nowhere, he just like from his side Robin just hoods. sticks it right next to yours, Julie. Oh. We'll get we'll give you some good practices. Why? You know, it's a good emergency thing to have. Why why do you feel like you needed to show her up? That's rude. Just wanted to show her you know, I wanna help her practice. That's all. Oh yeah. That's not what it felt like, but okay. I'm gonna try to grab the daggers out. Uh with a w- little bit of wiggle you're able to get Jubilees out. Uh Vantalors is stuck in there pretty good. Okay. Now this is me showing up. I literally go and just grab my dagger and pull it out. <laughs> oh, hold on. And I literally do it as showing off as I can. No. Yes. No. No, because I cast. I can't. Mm, no, I can't do that. Never mind. I can't. Okay. Never mind. So, so the the dagger <laughs> stick in the tree and pull out a little bit of this lively uh, camaraderie as the three of you. Uh, Gain a little bit of trust, show a little bit of throwing skills, uh, performing skills, as Raja and Rihu are back at the tavern with this new threat that moons over uh, Raja, as well as the uh, information that you gained from Athea uh, and, and the things that she's looking into for you all as well. And that is where we will end tonight's session. Now, uh, Jubilee, a uh, little bit new for you. I'm not sure if you've seen the other streams, but at the end of the stream, we do have a stream MVP. Uh, so we go around, everyone says why they should be a stream MVP. It's a nice time for the viewers to be able to uh, have a little bit of interaction while this is happening. I'll also uh, throw up the fan art onto the screen. Um, but, you know, it, it's. It can literally be anything about your stream tonight, uh, and then whoever wins will receive 500 XP. Uh, so it's a way that, you know, a little bit of interaction there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with Zep, kind of go backwards this time. Uh, Zep, why should you be stream MVP? Um, I guess the only thing I can really think of, because there was a lot of RP in this one, is just. Um, you know, he he's really making it a point to get to the bottom of where these creatures come from, what they are, and things like that. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to Vantalord. Why should you be streaming? I would say initiating a conversation with Jubilee, handing her some a couple weapons so we at least start and just just starting off, hopefully, with that friendship that we have. Okay. How about you, Raja? Raja should be stream MVP because... He got a new NPC involved with the group. It's, um, a seemingly important one. Not that Roger would know, but uh, yeah, giant tattoo on your back. 
Yeah, that's not stream MVP worthy though. Mm -hmm. It's just something I did. Okay. Um, Rihu, how about yourself? I'd love to say I did something, but I did nothing this stream, so of note. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm, I can't play the game for myself this round. Okay. Uh, and uh, Jubilee, and with when you're done, we'll go ahead and toss up that poll, and then uh, everyone can vote for stream MVP. Why should you be stream MVP? Because you get to listen to this voice now, potentially forever, and we got we got regular daggers, and now we know that sneaky daggers exist. That They've always itself, existed. I we love. just didn't know where and how to find them because they're, they're yeah. sneaky. Yeah. They're very sneaky. We'll, we'll know exactly which dagger she is because if it's dark or bright. <laughs> right. That's that's how we'll know if she's being sneaky too. Because it'll either be dark or bright. <laughs> awesome. So she's very MVP. afraid if she's dark. <laughs> you just see her flip her cape over to the other side. <laughs> oh my god, we need to find a reversible one. I am having a it's... custom reversible cape made. Oh yeah, it's, it's happening. Yes. So, stream MVP oh, is up, so everyone can vote. Uh, I don't know if you guys know any players you guys can vote to, but uh, <laughs> uh, the stream MVP poll is up. Uh, whoever you think should have that. Uh, and that then, fan art is amazing. Uh, I love yep, it. so the fan art is up. Uh, this came in from it is so good. Draws, new sneaky girl ver new girl sneaky version. <laughs> totally inconspicuous. Totally inconspicuous. <laughs> Don't yep. be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, now, now that's gonna be stuck in my head all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah, this, it, was a, it was a good entrance for a character, that's for sure. I'm yeah. glad y'all are not completely thrown off by her obnoxious voice. The, the I'm voice? sure you will be eventually. Oh, man. When I, when I first heard the, the voice, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh's gonna haunt my dreams. More nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's not. That's not and at, every other week, I'm gonna have nightmares, so it's great. It's cool. Uh, Don't good worry, night, you have... Natasha. <laughs> uh, oh man, yeah. You have uh, a little bit of a break. Don't worry. <laughs> wonderful stream. Uh, looks like we have a few more minutes, or a few more minutes. Um, I don't know, probably 30 seconds or so left on that uh, stream MVP. Uh, so be sure to place your vote. Uh, I quick... thought it was cool seeing the tattoo. That was. Oh yeah. Interesting to go down that route. Um, the interaction with Julie, uh, the kind of like little performance you put on. Throwing the dagger with your feet, I wasn't sure how you were going to make a sneaky dagger. Uh, I was a little concerned about that. Throwing the shoe at her and have her, watching her juggle it, that was yeah, hilarious. And a stinky shoe at that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, Boy, I wonder who's going to be stream MVP today. <laughs> <laughs> And you That's all great. Did, you all did stuff like Zep said, you know, just a further exploration of this, of these items, of that creature, of those aids, uh, of those letters. Um, a lot of things are starting to come to the surface uh, with that. Some weird thing with Raja. Yeah, the weird thing with Raja. At, at this point, anything with Raja is normal. The red herring to keep us off of what we're trying to actually do accomplish. Did you oh, already... my land. And Jubilee oh. won the uh, stream MVP. Aw, thanks, y'all! Yay! Great. And what, what were you saying, Roger? Did you already post the, um, like, the new character things that you were making? The portraits? No, like, we not still... yet. That is, a, that is a task and a half, so no, not yet. So we still have time to, like, yeah. change it if I'm not. Just tab it. Yep. Um, so congratulations, Jubilee. Thank you everyone for being with us today. I really appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Uh, Tom, you know, one more time before we go and raid over into Jay's stream, uh, let's kick it off again with, uh, the favorite saying that you have. I said, you want me to go through the whole thing or yeah, yeah. guys? Oh, you can't go part way through it. Oh, fine then. 
guys, at this point, if you're watching, you haven't followed us, just give a good follow. It gives all the alerts on Twitch saying, hey, we're going live. Doesn't matter whether it's our stream, Tears of Air, Fall of Red Dawn, or even Lore Masters Arcana. Lots yeah. of good contact. Nailed them all. Exactly. If you're already following and you haven't subscribed, just give that sub. It allows us to help continue boosting the channel, helps us to get this family friendly content out to everyone. And if you subscribe, your subscriptions lapse. Just please give a resubscribe, especially if you have Amazon Prime. It's included for free with Twitch to it, so you know what better cause than this. And finally, if you're if you subscribe and you're not on our Discord server, we've got so much good content between all the streams, all the in-game uh, role play, just the very active community all the way around. You know, join us on the Discord. And finally, if you haven't done any of this, the question of the day is: What are what you are doing? You doing? <laughs> There you go. We participated. There you go. There you go. Uh, that being yeah. said, you guys are at the tavern. Raja, I know you said you went to lay down and sleep. Uh, even that, you know, it's midday, so if you want to wake up and participate, you guys are in a lo in an area together in a non-combat situation, so if you want to do the text RP in the Discord, like uh, Tom was talking about, uh, you guys can totally take part in that uh, as you're at the tavern. Okay. All right. Well, again, we thank you, everyone. We're gonna head over and raid uh, Lord Gazumba, uh, and that will kick off any moment now. I think I did it on time yep. this time. Uh, yep. Should be in here in just a couple seconds. So again, thank you, everyone. Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, Fridays on Discord. Uh, 